Yo, 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 it's your boy, Blaze McCoy. And we are live here in Time Machine Arena. For a little fantasy action wrestling. You guys picked these matches a while back. Now we're going to make them happen. Stay tuned. We'll be live with Fantasy Action Wrestling very shortly, folks. It's your boy, Blaze McCoy. And we're live in the time machine, baby. Yes. No Rex has seen that first matchup, so that's a good thing, too. We'll be live shortly. Stay tuned. Johnny Taker. Oh, why are you laughing at my song? I know, that's not good. <laughs> good to see you, Tiny. We are ready to rock and roll. You see Radio Rex versus Drew McIntyre. That was chosen by Satan's Angel. Jake and Dusty versus Mr. You Taker. And Undertaker. That was chosen by Jake Bagwell. Tito's in the building. Sabri's in the house as well. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're tuning into Blaze Radio. Sit back, relax at the AI, take you for a ride. Strap it on, strap it up, strap it down, whatever floats your boat. Whatever makes you happy, people. Hey, now. j Dog and j Vulture versus the FAW Tag Champs, Kofi and Big E, non-title. Mark Caliber's in the house. Max Blaylock, our Invitational Champion, against Adam Cole, the NXT Champion, also no title on the line. We also got Wildcat and You Taker versus Cassie Madam Red. A surprise match, a 30-man rumble, and the FAW title gauntlet, baby. J-Dog's in a building. Match, and this was selected by Satan's Angel. Putting Rex in the ring against Drew McIntyre. No title. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Hit that thumbs up if you're digging what's going down. Blue, you're my boy! Oh my goodness, Blue. All up in my grill. <laughs> well, we have some matches that are LTD versus LTD, so it's not really like a straight up LTD versus FAW. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four of those matches. And it's mostly LTD here today, folks. We'll see. You're my boy, too. You're all my boys and girls, ladies and germinals. Dudes and dolls. Monstars in the building. Tree Fitty. Give the man Tree Fitty. Give him Tree Fitty. That's what I'm talking about. Seriously, folks, that's one of the best things you can do for the show is share it out to your social media. Because that's how we can get the word out, birds. I appreciate y'all. Jonathan Penn's in a building. I want to thank y'all for joining the show here tonight. It's your boy Blaze McCoy. We're in Time Machine Arena, baby. You know what that means. Dream matches. You guys won wrestling roulette matches. You guys won hangman, hangman matches. We're going to get most of those out of the way here today. So I guess without further ado, 
Get down to the ring for our first matchup, and oh boy, what a way to start out the show. Jiggly Jiggles in the building, hey now. Simon's in the house as well, good to see y'all. Phillips in the building, welcome, welcome, hit the thumbs up, let's get it going. Well, unfortunately, coming down the ring first from Hollywood, California, six foot tall, 225 pounds, he's disgusting, nasty, dirty, filthy, stinky, Radio Rex Rapalski, boo. <laughs> hit the thumbs up, share it out, folks. FAW means you never know what's going to go down on these shows, folks. People, people, people are people, so why could it be? You and I could get along so awfully. People are people, so why could it be? You and I couldn't get along so awfully. Let's go. Phillips already cheering for Drew McIntyre. Well, I will be too. Well, here he comes. He holds a championship somewhere right now, I think, but uh, he left it at home to jump into Time Machine Arena and go on a little journey with y'all. Yins guys. Guys and gals. You know how it goes. Crack a cold one. Here he comes. It's Drew McIntyre. It's my accent. My bad joke accent. <laughs> Rob's in the building. Match it, match it, match it. Bagwell's in the house. Thanks for the bruise. Wow, Mal's in the house as well. First match. And yeah, we're getting Rex out of the way. This is one time where you're allowed to cheer for FAW. Yes, and when Gordson gets here, I'm sure he'll cheer for FAW. And we'll give him the button. <laughs> Good to see everybody here tonight. Let's see how long we can keep the chat going here. <laughs> On screen, that is. Keep firing away. I got Nightbot coming every couple minutes. LTD merchandise on sale. You can also get your digital wrestling card put on a t-shirt front and back. Series one is done. And now, releasing later on tonight. That's right, 10 cards from the digital collector card series will be released this evening on all social media platforms so make sure you're connected baby get yourself connected the writing's on the wall gonna do it again gonna do it again gonna do it again gonna do it again oh polish hammer misses here we go kicked to the side of the face by drew mcintyre shadow press Welcome to the show, you're doing a laser radio. Good to see you, our crazy A champion. I don't know, Monstar might have heard me sing and he might start throwing out some blazy Oki again. <laughs> well, you never know what you're going to get here on Blaze Radio. We have a new show coming up, a new themed show. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later. Jonathan Penn's in the house, Jake Bagwell. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Turn the button blue. Yeah. The dude abides. The dude abides. Y'all dudes. <laughs> Back body drop by Drew McIntyre. And now Drew. Flat. Nim Rex in the middle of the ring. That's how you get going. Yeah, I can't really, can't really turn this into a uh, FAW versus LTD. Oh, Jake. <laughs> well, don't be wishing that upon someone when you got a crazy match coming up next. That's kind of FAW versus uh, LTD. Jake picked himself with Dusty Rhodes versus The Undertaker versus Mr. U-Taker. That'll be interesting, to say the least. So tonight, uh, cards number 31 through 40 will be released, in case you're uh, interested. That's Aiden Nightwalker, Andre Steele, Alex Caliber, Beast, Bill Hay Jr., Bryce Jacobs, Crimson Ninja, Derek Steele, Drum Monkey, and Ethan Moore. Insert mandatory hatred to Order X, of course. There's plenty of that. You don't have to worry about that. Everyone else pick up the slack. Back in the ring now, Radio Rex. Oh, boy. I was afraid this might happen, too. 
It's a slobber knocker between the two, and it's, it's extreme rules, so they can pull out weapons, there's no disqualification, no count out. Could make it interesting, or we could see another freak accident like Rex winning. Oh boy. So Series 2 cards will have too many. Shadow Press, you number 57. Boy, you are. You're pretty good with that. Yes, you are. You're in uh, Series 2, Batch 3, which will be coming out soon. We got two more batches in Series 2. Oh, and then we'll bring you the ladies. That's right. We got 20 female cards coming out, baby. A little different design. All the favorites of the Battle Queen division. That means we're going to have to have a Battle Queen show around that time as well. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, man. Kick out, Drew. Kick out, please. Don't take a loss to Rex. We can't, we can't start the show like that. Like I said, this is the time where we're all actually rooting for the FAW member. Oh, take your time, referee. Oh, shit. I was afraid of that. Yeah, let's beef up the security and make sure he doesn't uh, try to find his way back in here. Bloody bastard! Oh boy. Check out, now let's not, let's bypass the highlights. There's your winner, Radio Rex. Piss on you, next match. Ha ha ha! Camera's off of him! All right, here's a match. Well, Jake Bagwell selected Dusty as his partner to go against Mr. Utaker and The Undertaker. Coming up next, D-Train's in the building! Yeah, check out Jiggly Jiggle Jiggly. Here we go. I gotta say, it was uh, it was good to hear my buddy Sterling Gritch earlier today on the old Maverick Broadcasting Network. If you're not connected to Maverick, make sure you are as well, folks. Here we go. Let's get down to the ring. For our second match, this one was selected by Jake Bagwell. And he said, I want to team up with Dusty and go against Undertaker and U-Taker. Cowboy John. Good to see everybody. All the boys and girls in blue. Ah, letting you guys know how it's going, how, how it works around here, which I appreciate. All my mods will clue you in if you're new to the channel on how things work. We like to kick it. We have a lot of fun. We also take the channel very seriously. There's a lot of people in right now. We're still in between 16 and the LIT, the Invitationals. But we're always taking applications. Find your boy, Blaze, on Facebook, Twitter, Skype. I should have did this before, but pardon me, pardon me while I burp and spew flames. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. There's some people that do Fire Pro Sabri, but eh -eh, not for me. I'm looking simulation. That's more arcade simulation. It's a very cool game, but not me. That's right, Cowboy, and I hope you're doing better, my friend. Get well fast, Cowboy John. Gord sends in the building. Gord will have the opportunity later on cashing in one of his title shots. 
He's at the very end of the gauntlet. N-E-Dub. N-E-Dub. Non-stop is in the building. That's my man Austin Black from the Invitational Division. Good to see everybody. And here he is his tag team partner. Oh, he's busting out the old polka dots. It's the American Dream, Dusty Rose. Yeah, I got to talk. Well, Gordon, you missed your buddy Rex win a match earlier, so you can go celebrate with him if you want. You can come back for your title fight later on, Gordon. Drum monkey. I thought maybe you'd catch that incubus thing. Get your drum roll in here. I get this funky like a monkey music going on in the meantime, in between time. Sorry, Yellow. <laughs> Oh, Dusty getting the time machine fired up. How about it? How about it? Go, Dusty. Dusty Bottoms. That's gross. Shit, the big guy's coming out first. Coming out first is the dead man. The Undertaker. Oh, I know, Sabri. It's a very awesome game. The, the way you can create characters and download and customize is good, but it's arcade gameplay. Like, no, you know. But there is some people, Sabri, I'll talk to you at some point in time. There's a couple of people that do, uh, TJ Toad, he does Fire Pro. The Undertaker walking down to the ring. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's balls. Mr. Utaker has his music queued up while The Undertaker walking down. Sabri's talking about Fire Pro Wrestling. And of course we have the uh, the two new WWE games that are coming out that are kind of like uh, Arcade Simulation 2. I'm waiting for the next Simulation Simulation. Hopefully AEW's will be ball. Here comes one half, the other half of the tag team. The master of darkness from the outer circles of hell. It's Mr. Utaker. Well, there we have a little a little face-to-face -face between Mr. Utaker and the Undertaker. Maybe Jake knew putting those two on the other side. It's going to be hard for them to work together. We'll see. Here we go. Carl and Obo tie up and now switch around by The Undertaker. Jake likes to put me at task here. I gotta make sure I say Undertaker and You Taker. <laughs> All right, big right hand, a block. As we got Jake Bagwell versus The Undertaker getting us going here in this. It's a tag team madness match, so no disqualification, no count out. One fall to the victor. We got a winner. Well, thank everyone for showing up to the show here tonight. Make sure you guys hit the like button for your boy, Blaze McCoy. Blue, you're my boy! And sit back, relax, at the AI take it for a ride. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to Wang Chung tonight. Hey, now. Ah, uh, what do you mean, Wang Chung, Blaze? Oh. Hey, <laughs> you the stupid Wang Chung thing. You see me whip Drew McIntyre's ass, Blaze. He's got that championship at that other company, and I just made him look like, 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 like what, Rex? Like, I can't think of anything that would, that made him look like. Oh, shut up, Rex. Well, I won regardless. That's all I need to know. Yeah, congratulations, Rex, and thanks for joining me in the booth. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm ecstatic. I love when you come up in Time Machine Arena with us for these FAW shows. I really love it. You don't sound that excited, Blaze. Uh, thank you. Thank you, NEW. That means a lot, my friend. Share it out by Psycho Code on old Twitterverse. Yes, yeah, share it out. Let the Twitterverse, let Facebook, Instagos, let all the Thirstagrammers and make a TikTok video for it and send people out and hold up my... I don't know. <laughs> I know you'd love to kick him in the face, j Dog. Yeah, I've already beat you, j Dog. <laughs> Get back in line. You're back to the back of the line now, j Dog. Deal with it. Oh, geez. Well, that's actually true, but... 
Yeah, there's a long line not only to get into the company, but to beat out Rex. I think there's a lot of people that want to get into the company just to beat out Rex. That's not very nice, Blaze. I didn't say it was. Comrade is in the building. There's the Comrade, another invitational member here vying for those contracts. Good to see you, Doc Comrade, in the building. Uh, I'll whoop the Comrade's ass too, Blaze, but you didn't put me in the invitational first LIT uh, event. You should have. I didn't put you in any event. You don't deserve it. Now with Mr. You Take Her Down, it's Jake and the Undertaker, and Undertaker just slugging it out with Bagwell. Well, today is not Comrade Day, but the Comrade will be teaming with the Advocate and Brink tomorrow night to go against Shulky, Aiden Nightwalker, and Cowboy John. A new version of uh, the Lions from both ends. G6 matches tomorrow night for the LIT members. Only five of them as DH Bruiser unable to compete anymore so he will be out of that competition but we have five six man tornado elimination matches if any LIT members win not one of them all three of them will get a shot at Max Blaylock the Invitational Champion tomorrow night that's the first of three shows this week we got all three a triple double trouble going down oh hammer and sickle oh boy oh I like that. I like that too, comrade. Uh, that doesn't scare me. Hammers and sickles. Uh, P, I ain't scared of you, comrade. Oh, jeez, Rex. Oh, even if he doesn't get a comrade uh, a contract from the committee, I might let him fight you one-on-one, -on -one, Rex, just to uh, uh, obliterate you. Easy for you to say, Blaze. You got a little choked up on your words there. Don't let that. Let's not remind everybody what I did when me and you fought, Blaze. Oh, shut up, Rex. This is my show, remember? I gotta put a new clause in your contract that says you can't talk about that. Well, oh, boy. I heard that, Blaze. <sighs> Come here. I knew, I knew it was danger putting you in the first match if you won and came back would be the only way that would suck, and you had to do that. <sighs> well, Thursday, it's the GPC Tag Team Cup. Yes, the Bastage and Gord Sin won the first tournament, so they do have a date with Demented and Caleb, the Tag Team Champions. However, the antagonists will have another shot. The Cowboys from Hell will have another shot. Every team, except for Team Smut, who now can't compete because of the undisclosed injury to DH Bruiser, will be put in a reverse order as they were eliminated. A gauntlet match. That's right, gauntlet. GPC gauntlet this Thursday night plus. The Forge, the G6 champions will put their titles on the line this Thursday night against Ruthless Incorporated's D-Train, Matt Outlaw, and Ethan Moore, who qualified. So Ruthless versus the Forge this Thursday night at the Gauntlet as well. That's Golden Pyramid, I should say, at the Golden Pyramid. This, thir this Friday, we got tons of medallions on the line. We got eight chamber matches, two medallions in each chamber match. And then... Four-way elimination matches for the winners. Holy piss in a bottle. It's a superplex by Bagwell. So four medallions in the elimination Fatal Four matches as well. This Friday, we'll be back to Combat Kingdom Stable Wars. Right now, the Scavengers with a six-medallion lead in Stable Wars. They have 21. Maximum Overdrive and the Opaque Brotherhood with 15. Weapon X with 11. And the Empire and Ruthless at eight medallions. Everyone's still in the game. Dusty taken down by Mr. U-Taker. Back in the matchup as Jake Bagwell claims him and Dusty are Americans team going against the Dead Men. And now Mr. U-Taker unleashing Hell's Fury on the polka-dotted Dusty Rhodes, baby. And now Mr. U again. He's going to try to open the gates of Hell and put Dusty on his belly boil right in the gates, through the gates of Hell. Crashing one, two, not enough. Back to work. And down he goes. Well, yeah, we still have... This is only... This is Chamber Match is the fourth show in Stable Wars. There's still a fifth show after that, and that'll be the eight-man elimination matches. Old Survivor Series style. 
Big time medallions on that show, and then we'll come into one more show. So you're looking at three more shows. So we're only ha- oh, right in the cheek. My mouth was open. Almost got locked jaw on it. Cougar Knights in the building. Welcome to the show. You're doing the Blaze Radio. You scared the pissing shit out of me there for a second. My goodness gracious, golly gee willikers. Lost my train of thought, too. Damn, you smell really good tonight, ain't it? <laughs> Stable Wars Friday night. Tag Cup Thursday night. Spinebuster right now by Bagwell. Cover! Dusty's going to try to hold him off to get Bagwell the win, but I uh, almost called him Mr. U-Taker. Undertaker! And now the Undertaker going to try to send Dusty straight to hell as well. Bagwell makes the save. And a clothesline by Bagwell. Big boot by U-Taker. Tripped up by Jake. Jake celebrate. Maybe a little early to celebrate, Jake. Go back in now, Mr. U-Taker to two LTD performers going at it. Very, very true, Sabri. Very, very good point. Yes. Oh. Nobody's assaulting me. I, I like salt and pepper, not just salt, Sabri. <laughs> oh, shut up, Rex. You're ridiculous. That wasn't even close to being funny. Dragon screw leg whip by Bagwell. Mr. U-Taker back up to a vertical base. Reverse him straight into the buckle. Oh, and he's busted him open. Mr. U-Taker firing up, and he's busted open Bagwell. But Jake now trying to keep the fight going. Oh, I got to tell you, I have a new gaming chair, and it is fucking phenomenal. Amen. Oh, you guys are happy for me, but yeah, you guys want the same chair? No way, man. I love this. Oh, I got a neck rest. Got some lumbar support. Ah, I'm comfy. How about you, Rex? Oh, this is an old metal chair, and it's got rust all over it, Blaze. Just be happy you're allowed in the booth right now after Shamrock and Shifty put on those performances, as well as Mark Caliber and Statman. Your job's in trouble, Rex. No way, man. No way, man. Those guys aren't even half as good as I am. Angelita's in the building. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. You're doing in the Blaze Radio. Comrade, yeah. A root canal would probably be better than hanging out with Rex. Well, I know a dentist in Pittsburgh. We can get her to get you a root canal, Blaze. Oh, shut up, Rex. Oh, you do not know Britt Baker. Shut up. I know people that know her, though. Oh, shut up. I can't do color commentary and try to win my job back if you keep telling me to shut up, Blaze. What did you just say? I, I, I was talking about you. Uh, you did arrange those three words in. I was explaining uh, what you did. You were telling me to shut up, comma, Blaze. You just did it again, Rex. That's twice. <laughs> Almost a three count for Bagwell. Well, Rex, you're, uh, your ass is grass. That's not fair, Blaze. You're taking it out of context. That's both times I said it, but 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 but, but it was uh, uh, it wasn't meant to be. Uh... <sighs> yeah, you're in trouble, Rex. There's no there's no getting out of this one now. Now Bagwell with a low blow on Mr. U Taker, covered in blood. Cover on Mr. U and Undertaker makes a save at the last second. We don't want to revoke his contract, uh, Tiny. There's too much good shit in there keeping Rex from doing hardly anything. Yeah, Blaze got me tied down with that contract. I knew I should have read it or had a lawyer look at it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Rex. Well, we can go back and amend it. Yeah, I'd like to add some things to it. No, not at all. You can't add nothing. You just, just should be happy you're on time machinery. You can thank Satan's angel, actually. S.A. picked that match. There he is, S.A. S.A. You picked the match. Oh, 69 submission. 69 submission. Jake Bagwell's trying to put away Mr. Yu, and he does. Holy piss in a bottle. Bagwell gets the win. Let's we'll see. Now, that would have been a an LTD win. So, technically, it's 2 nothing LTD over FAW if you want to get down to it. <laughs> Check out the highlights. Yeah, S.A. picked Drew McIntyre versus Rex. Yeah, and I whooped his ass, Satan's angel. Thanks a lot, Snakehead. You're the best. <laughs> want to go out on a date, Snakehead? Oh, shut up, Rex. You don't want... <sighs> no, he doesn't have a problem. I think he just asked Satan's angel out on a date. Oh, boy. 
Well, you know, you know, you know, Blaze, what the rule is. No, don't even, don't even do any stupid dating one-liner joke, Rex. Please, no, no. All right, I won't. Wow, what a fight! And the winners of the match, Jake Bagwell and Dusty Rhodes, America's team. Didn't really get to hear the theme song, so let's play the theme song. As we go to the next match. This is caged. There's no cage matches today, Blaze. Yeah, there is. After this one, we got Hell in a Cell, Max Blaylock and Adam Cole. But coming up next, it's Jay Dog and Jay Vulture, the Scavengers, versus the FAW Tag Team Champions. And this is a non-title fight. Right now, the New Day won the tag titles. But challenged by Jay Dog in his win in Roulette. Coming up next. Here we go again, here we go again, here we go again. Still to come, folks, a 30-man Blitzkrieg Rumble with most of you guys in the chat or in that Rumble if you're not in the match. That'll be for a shot at the FAW Championship because tonight we have the gauntlet. Coming out first, at a combined weight of 505 pounds from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, the inanimate evil J-Dog, and from Mount Olympus, Jay Vulture, they are the Scavengers. Scavengers in the building. Well, Matt Outlaw's in the house. Good to see you, Sabre, Mythic Legends Wrestling. You should have picked someone other than Drew McIntyre, maybe. I don't know. I would have beat anybody. Anybody that SA picked. I would have beat him. Oh, shut up, Rex. Stop reminding us that you won. I'm going to put a highlight reel together for everybody to watch. <laughs> How about a, just a Radio Rex show? Is that what your show is you were talking about? No. No, Rex. Our new show is called Blackout. LTD Blackout. Coming soon. What's that all about, Blaze? Well, it's not really a surprise. LTD Blackout will be a new special that we'll have here on the Blaze Radio Network. And it'll be all knockout matches. And you're damn right. You'll be hearing a lot of this. You got knocked the fuck out, man! That's right. Indeed. That's coming soon. LTD Blackout. In the month of June. One of the new additions to the roster to the shows to the events of this crazy summer we're gonna have another blazing hot summer right here on the blaze radio network here on youtube oh uh, these guys won the belts let's see if they're even wearing them we're gonna bring out some pancakes yes they are indeed 
The Fantasy Action Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston and Big E, The New Day. Ah, uh, Gord saying, man, I, was, I didn't put that together until now. Oh, Rex will definitely be on, on the Blackout show. Yeah, you can't have a show without me. No, we want to see your ass get knocked out. Oh, I'm good at knocking people out. <laughs> Don't put me in a knockout match. I'll win, Blaze. Oh, you see, you guys have created a monster out there. Especially you, Gordson. Gordson will be one of four people that will go after... The FAW Championship here tonight. Bryce Jacobs won the title off of Brock Lesnar, finally bringing it back to LTD. And now his first title defense will be here tonight. Bryce Jacobs will have to run a gauntlet. First the D-Train, then Derek Steele the Forge, then Paragon of Greatness, and then Gord Sin. Whoever comes out of those five men in that gauntlet will be the FAW World Champion. And if Bryce can go through that gauntlet, That'll be four successful title defenses, so he might be up for an LTD title shot if he can win the gauntlet here tonight. Stay tuned. That's up to the LTD committee. All right, we're off and running here on this one again, again, and again. I want to thank each and every one of you guys and gals, dudes and dolls. Everybody for stopping by and hanging out with your boy, Blaze McCoy. Hit the like button and turn it blue. And sit back, relax, let the AI take you for a ride. We got... Now, the theme behind this one, and time permitting, not sure if we're going to have Molly Shamrock versus Speranza. Speranza is the uh, Battle Queen champion in LTD. And it's always known that if someone defeats the champion, you don't get an automatic title shot, but you get awfully a lot closer. Now take down as a double teamwork by the Scavengers, j Dog and Jay Vulture. They have been back on the same page like never before. They're leading the stable war at the halfway point. We got three more shows to go in the stable wars. So at the halfway point, the Empire and Ruthless with eight medallions, Weapon X with 11, Opaque, and... Maximum Overdrive with 15, and the Scavengers on top with 21. And they're showing you right here exactly why J-Dog, J-Vulture have been dominant recently. Trip up by Big E now as Kofi makes his way back up to the apron. I got some leftover pizza I can't wait to eat after this. Wow, Blaze, leftover pizza. You're really riding high on your horse. Ah, that make, that's, oh, you try to combine all kind of cliches and sayings together, Rex. You're a moron. Whatever, you're the one who said stakes were on the line way back in the day. <laughs> That's when I was doing the announcements of people coming in the ring. Yeah, and your voice wasn't all jacked up either. What's wrong with my voice, Blaze? <sighs> oh, my God. Why'd you hit the button on my voice? I just hit the button in general because you're annoying me. Now Big E in the far corner. We're in Time Machine Arena where normally I'm in a much better mood because we leave Rex behind. What about my behind? I've been doing a lot of squats. My dupa looks good. It's better than Big E's butt. I, 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 no, shut up, Rex. Back body drop by Big E. Manhandling the J-Dog right here. Still got a huge surprise coming up here tonight. A surprise match no one knows about. Two wrestlers. One-on-one. -on -one. Coming up soon. Nobody knows about this surprise. Ah, uh, yes, sir, Blaze. Wait a minute. I don't even know who's in a surprise. Well, the two people that are in it know they're in the back getting ready for their match, Rex. But we're keeping them in a separate trailer until the match happens, which is coming up shortly. After this match, we got Max Blaylock versus Adam Cole. And then Wildcat Ann selected herself versus Cassie Madam Red, which will be quite interesting. I always love seeing both of those young ladies battle it out. Then we have the surprise match right before the rumble in the jungle. And then we'll go to the gauntlet after that. A little change in the card tonight. Looks like uh, Machete versus Crimson Engine. Shamrock, Molly Shamrock, that is, versus Speranza. May have to wait to the next FAW show. That's what you get, Shamrock, for waiting so damn long to turn your damn matches in. <laughs> There's Jay Vulture. On the apron in the match, yeah. <laughs> Suplex, stalling suplex by the J-Dog, and 
Lays the boots to the chesticles here on Kofi Kingston. And a drop kick right in a rib cage. Sends him flying. Back up again now. J-Dog with a hammer. Big right hand. Takes down Kofi. Tag team titles are not on the line. But if J-Dog and Jay Vulture can pick up this win, they'll be really close. They'll be in at least the qualifying match to get this tag title shot. And we'll probably mix in uh, an FAW tag team and maybe another LTD tag team. You never know. I like those War Games triple tag Hakiyako matches we do. Ah, uh, Blaze, why do you say Hakiyako? It's just Hell in a Cell and Knockout. Maybe you can have those matches on the uh, on the uh, on the knockout on the knockout show. It's called Blackout Rex, and I planned on it, you moron. It's all knockout matches, ding dong. All right, Blaze, you don't have to call me a ding dong. Well, Rex, don't forget, you said, shut up, Blaze. Not once, but twice here today. So, well, what's the punishment? You normally make me fight somebody, and I already fight someone today. I'm going to make you wait. No fair, Blaze, no fair. You got to tell me what my punishment is now. I'm going to make you wait. But later on tonight, LTD Collector Card Series 2 Batch 1 cards will be released. Collect them if you will. And you can also check out the roster page. Series 1 is completely updated on the roster pages. There's the link to the roster pages. You can click on your favorite LTD performers and collect their cards. Oh, stomped in a stomach on Kofi. And J-Dog and J-Vulture, I told him it's not for the title. But they'd at least want to win this so they can get into that qualifying match. Spear by J-Dog averted as he leapfrogged over it. Agility went for the trouble in paradise and connected. Ouch. I think he's out. J-Dog's out cold. Oh, he kicks out. Flailing at the last second. Find his way out. Nightbot dropping. What's he dropping? I was going to say, he probably dropped the link I just put out there. No, this time not so much. Well, the GPC tournament above will show you how um, Bastage and Gordson won the first one. That link I'll take down. I got to take that one down. Because GPC now, Bastage and Gordson, the antagonists, have a title shot. But we're going to give someone another one. Ravens in the building. Good to see you, Bernie. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. Yes, the Enchanted Raven, as well as the Jiggly Jiggles and many other, will be in Series 3. The Battle Queen card's coming out soon. In Series 4 will be all the Invitational members. Series 5, we got a lot of surprises. Good to see everybody. What's your question, Simon? Don't interrupt me, Rex. I saw that. I was getting to it. Powerbomb by Big E. Why do you call him Biggie? Biggie was, um, he was a uh, rapper. Oh, shut up, Rex. What's your question there, Simon? Yeah, what's your question for me? I ain't scared. Oh, my goodness. Draping him over the top rope and flinging his ass back in the center of the ring. Holy piss in a bottle. Good to see all y'all, even those over in the UK with an earlier start on a Monday. I know you guys appreciate the earlier Monday starts. Well, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are 8 p.m., 8 p.m., and 9 p.m. That's ass crack in the morning for you guys and gals. Holy shit, that kick spun Big E around. J-Dog with a cover. Rolling over now is Jay Vulture to hold him up, and the scavengers pull away with the victory. That's how it's done, folks. And if you're keeping track, which I am not. <laughs> yes, I am. That's 3-0. J-Dog selected that match and brought on the victory. We got a Hell in a Cell match coming up next. Check out the highlights. Well, Bastage and Gord Sin also have an FAW tag team shot. Because of their GPC tournament win. So Bastic and Gord Sin have a shot at the New Day. And now so do Jay Dog and Jay Vulture. The winners of the match. The Scavengers. 
Impressive win by J Dog, J Vulture. They got Time Machine Arena. Oh, rocking, baby. Um, OnStar trying to get the. We had Blaze Yoki going on earlier. I know you're jelly. Don't be jelly. <laughs> on to the next matchup. Now, this one's selected by Mrs. U Taker. It just so happens they're both currently champions. Which we have Max Blaylock. He didn't directly take it from his tag team partner, but there were several men involved in that match. And the hot potato title is now around the waist of the other modern-day sharpshooter, Max Blaylock. As James Creed held that title first. Be right just before him. Well, that title will be on the line again tomorrow night. Any G6 competitors that win, they'll go at it. And Adam Cole, Hell in a Cell, one of Max's real-life dream matches, as Tiny is explaining to everybody that this should be one hell of a match. And they're both going to come out to the same music. Let's do it. Still to come, a 30-man rumble for a next shot at the FAW World Championship. Coming out first from Gun Barrel City, Texas, 5'9", 190 pounds. He is a modern day sharpshooter. He is your Invitational Champion, Max Blaylock! Well, Max will also be fighting in those matches tomorrow night, so if his team wins... Well, what do you know? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for showing up. FAW shows are always fun. Yeah, they're always fun. You leave me behind. I want to go to more of them. Uh, shut up, Rex. Max Blaylock ready for a fight, and it's a hell in a cell. Mrs. Utaker was not pissing around. She's putting these two inside a friggin' cage. Let's see who gets the win. His opponent, the current NXT champion, Adam Cole, baby! You missed the cue play, they all just did that. Oh, shut up, Rex. Sax time, I didn't bring my saxophone, or did I? IW's in the building with a drink and a big thumb. Hey now! Well, put that thumb on the like button. Turn it blue. I appreciate ya. As we rock along in these matches, you guys and gals, dudes and dolls, you peoples, won them before. And now we're cashing them all in. Nobody's coming in. James Creed can't interfere. Undisputed Era can't interfere. It's Blaylock and Cole, baby. All right, inside Hell in the Cell. One on one, I want to play that game tonight. All right, bow tie. That's right, if you're new to the channel, it's not only what he wears, that is his freaking name, B-O-T-Y-E, bow tizzy. His last name's not tizzy, Blaze. Shut up, Rex, you're just here to annoy me, and I'm sick of it. But there you are, if you're not already, follow your boy Blaze McCoy on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Skype. We'll be releasing some more digital collector cards for Series 2 tonight. 
And then tomorrow night we're back. Oh, shit. With Max Blaylock and the Invitational Boys in G6 matches. And then the following week you'll finally get to see. We all know what's on the table for the Invitational members. The hot potato title, if you will, gets defended every time the LIT members get a victory. But next week, we'll go back to LIT versus LIT in that event. And we'll have three matches with the LTD performers that are in that event. And they'll be fighting for two will be world title shots and one a lethal title shot. That is next week. In the LIT versus LTD event, it's going to get crazy up in this biatch. Oh geez, you're gonna you're gonna keep well here. Here I'll play a saxophone for you. I got some Benny Hill for you. Stomping down now, Adam Cole. Trying to annihilate Max Blaylock. Blaylock down and out, but only a one count. Adam Cole stalking him. Has control of the match here. Oh, but Blaylock trying to find a way to get himself back in the fight. Now Blaylock sizing up. Could be looking for that knee. Adam Cole blocked it, baby. <laughs> Got him up. Two count. Only a two count. Oh, got him. Adam Cole sizing him and up, sizing him up. Connects with the knee, but only a two count. Mrs. Utaker's freaking out, trying to get Max to fire up. Find a way to get back in the matchup, because right now Adam Cole in con complete control. Blaylock finds that opening. Now starts to strike back. Did you say strike back, Blaze? If you only knew the power of the dark side. Is that you doing that, Rex? Because I don't have the no dark side sample on my buttons. No, it's not me. <laughs> but I might know who it is, Blaze. <sighs> oh, somebody's fiddling with my fiddle buttons. Who is the dark side? What are you talking about? You want to see my dark side, Blaze? <laughs> I can show you the moon. Oh, shut up, Rex. You're annoying. You're like a little kid. Thank you. Miles Stanley Ward's in the building. Welcome to the show. You're doing the Blaze Radio. What's up, my brother? If you're digging what's going down, make sure you hit that thumbs up for your boy. Blue, you're my boy. Blue, you're my boy. Thank you, MSW. You're the shit, my friend. Why did you call him shit? I call him the shit. And don't touch that. <laughs> I thought it's your button. <laughs> oh, shut up, Rex. You were you're stupid. Max Blaylock setting up Adam Cole again. This time, no arm drag takedown by Cole. Cole will not let Max Blaylock get the upper hand. Oh, uh, say hello to the top turn, buckle. And Max Blaylock is dazed and confused, crumbling down the center of the FAW logo. And now Adam Cole looking to put him away. Oh, saw it coming. Well scouted by Max Blaylock's two similar attacks. Face first, planted him down, and Blaylock almost got the victory. Bowtie watching closely. Blaylock going right back to work. Jake, you did pick a pretty good match. I like it. Something 
a little different with uh, mixing up the L, uh, LTD and FAW co competitors. It was a good fight. I hate Dusty and Polka Dots, though, but I don't have an extra slot right now to download a good Dusty. We are packed to the gills right now, folks. Every slot filled. What are you talking about, Blaze? Never mind, Rex. I can always fire you. That'll open up a slot. Now Max Blaylock has Adam Cole around ringside with the metal, the steel, surrounded. Oh, face first, busted open Blaylock. Adam Cole stalking his competitor and now Cole is bleeding, but a big super kick at ringside. Wally, Wally, it's FAW today, Wally. We're in Time Machine Arena, baby. Why do you keep saying baby? Because Adam Cole's fighting Rex, moron. Dropped him on his head, that might do it. Cover by Cole. We're gonna ruin our streak. Oh, Adam Cole win, pissing on a parade. Well, technically, Max isn't technically, he's only signed to an invitational contract right now. But wow, he's gonna have to try harder, try again. Cause we got Adam Cole as the winner of the match, baby. Hi, Wally. What a fight inside the cell. Mrs. U is not gonna be happy. Oh boy. Well, yeah, we do have a new show coming up. It's called LTD Blackout. It'll be all knockout matches, whether they're in the cell, whether they're tag team, whether they're crazy eight all knockouts. We're going to see a lot of people get knocked out. We'll hear a, a lot of a lot of that. There's your winner of the match, Adam Cole, baby. But the show's called Blackout, and we already have a theme. So as we load up, our next matchup, I believe, is, yes, the return of Wildcat Ann Utaker, and she has challenged Cassie Madam Red. I gave everyone the option of picking LTD or FAW to fight against. Well, here's Blackout, the theme for the new upcoming song, as we get ready for this one on one matchup chosen by Ann. She wants to get a hold of Cassie one on one. Who wouldn't hang up? It's Madam Red versus Wildcat Ann. Coming up next. Mr. P's in the building. Well, Mr. P, get ready because Bryce Jacobs will be defending his championship tonight several times. Coming out first. 
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Wildcat and you take her. Totally the wrong song for Ann. My bad, Ann. I didn't play her right music. I played her old music. She does have a new theme song coming out. Stay tuned for that. Her opponent, the proprietor of the Red Lounge, HPOK, baby, is Cassie Madame Ray. And this is LTD versus LTD here. Mr. P, good luck to your protege tonight in the main event, Bryce Jacobs, defending his FAW title in a gauntlet. We got four competitors from LTD that have all qualified over the last few weeks. Can Bryce win four title matches tonight? We'll find out right now. A grudge match of sorts. Wildcat and Utaker wanted to get a piece of Cassie Madam Red, and here we go. After this match, folks, our surprise match is about to go down right here on the Blaze Radio Network. What is it, Blaze? You can tell me. No, I'm not telling you. You'll tell everyone in the chat. Ah, oh, come on. It's only one match away. You can tell me what the surprise match is. Oh, shut up, Rex. Both Wildcat Ann and Cassie Madden Red will both have cards in the LTD Digital Collector Card Series for the Battle Queens. That's Series 3. Later on tonight, the first batch in Series 2 are released. That's 10 cards. Batch 2 and 3 will be released within the next week or so. And then the ladies, so look for a Battle Queen event right at the beginning of, well, actually it could be Monday, June 1st. I don't have anything for that show. Everything else is booked, dude. I plan ahead. TJ22 is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuning in to Blaze Radio. I want to thank everyone for stopping by, popping in, hanging out with us. One second, one minute, one hour to hold the damn show. It's much appreciated. Gord Sins hiding from slingshots. Watch out, Gordo. They'll get you. <laughs> it's a hell of a fight. Well, I kind of respect Wildcat Ann for going outside the box on this FAW shoe and making sure that she is making something of her match and fighting one of the toughest in the Battle Queen division in Cassie Madam Red. Winner of this match will definitely climb the ranks a bit, but we'll see another competition to see who's going to face Speranza. And yes, reminder Raven, even today in Time Machine Arena, Raven has the briefcase to challenge Speranza Dancy for her championship. Is Raven going to cash in today? And what question was uh, Jiggles asking Rex? Yeah, I missed it. Someone asked me a question. You see, Blaze, you ignore when people talk to me. Oh, shut up, Rex. Yeah, whatever question you want answered, ask it again. Maybe I'll see it this time. <laughs> Oh, and a big slam. Taking Jiggles on a date, d d d d d d d Raven? What do you mean? What? What? Why would she want to go on a date with Rex? Yeah, why would she want to go on a date with... Wait, wait, I'm Rex. She wants to go on a date with me? Oh, jeez, Rex. You're such a moron. On the outside now, extreme rules. So, yes, that hammer is in play. Is Wildcat and you take her and Cassie Madam Red going at it here. I don't know, eh? If are you Canadian now, Raven? Are you cashing in today or not? It's a simple question. I'm hot. Uh, maybe I should take off this sweater. Am I sweating, Blaze? Is my bald head sweaty? She says I'm looking hot. Oh my goodness, Rex. You really get the button today. My goodness. Still on the outside is Bowtie can just watch. I know, Sabri, that's what I'm saying. How crazy is that? Knees to the back, Cassie, Madam Red. Dropping down on Ann Utaker, Wildcat Ann. Struggling, get back to her feet. Cassie's kiss of death coming up, oh no. Oh, at ringside to boot. Uh, Bagwell's calling uh, Jiggles desperate now because she wants you. 
I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm still not, I'm still done. Oh, no, she's got that hammer. She's back in the ring. Wildcat in. Oh, right to the lower back of Cassie. Maybe she called her out in this match to try to injure Cassie. Is there more to this match? We'll have to, we'll have to interview Wildcat Ann someday. Maybe on the, uh, on the Get Blazed show. That's right. Coming soon to the Blaze Radio Network, a special interview show. I'll interview one or two or maybe four individuals, and then they'll fight inside the ring right here in the Blaze Radio Network. So that's two new shows, Blaze. You're going out of your way. Well, it's going to be a blazing hot summer. Not only will LTD Blackout, the knockout show coming here. Is it out, ladies? You said knockout. Oh, my gosh, Rex. You're not paying attention. Who knows? The ladies might fight in that match in, a, in those shows, too. Oh, Jiggles doesn't want to go on a date with you. She just said hot. Ow. 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 So that means you don't have to answer, Rex. Oh, that's good then. That also means you don't get a date. Oh, that's bad then. <laughs> Cassie getting ragdolled, tossed around like a sack of potatoes. I think I always make, I used to always make blaze puns, Drum Monkey. Watch my first season way back in, at the end of 2017. I was reeling people in. Get Blazed is back, man. The Get Blazed uh, interview show has already made a couple appearances, and now it's going to come right here to the Blaze Radio Network. I'm trying to line up my first set of guests. And I'll be putting out there for a lot of you guys. I know Shifty had fun here online. So did Shamrock. And even Statman, when we were breaking down bracketology, no one better than the Statman to do that. Cover by Cassie. It ain't Cassie in the booth with me. Hey, now. I don't think War would appreciate that. Oh, shut up, Rex. Just to announce. Here we get Raven and Jiggles in, in, in the commentary booth. Well, then I, I would sit between you guys. Uh, no, you wouldn't be here if I had two two ladies in the booth, Rex. Jeez. Let me misses you. I'm going to get Tiny in the booth. Mr. You would be angry. It's just for commentating, Rex. Shut up. One, two, and, and you take her. Flossing and showing off. Well, now I can play her new song. <laughs> Hey, now, she wants everybody to dance to the beat, too. Kick it. There's your winner, Wildcat. And you take her. All right, folks, the unannounced match is up next. And the only hint I'm giving you now... If you all know both of them, and two, and they're both, they might be sitting right next to you. Let's just put it that way. Our next matchup just happens to be a surprise matchup. And it happens to be that your boy Blaze McCoy is bringing back some members of LTD from the past. Let's welcome back to LTD. Under and Fusion. Sabri Reed. Underpants. I mean, underscore on the right. Fusion Skull. Mr. Simon in the chat. Fusion on the left, underscore on the right. They've been in LTD before, and they are back. Yes, her outfit was dope. That's a new outfit for Ann. And her new jam rocking right now. That makes me want to dance. Fusion Skull. Just going by Fusion now. A lot of guys know him. He's got a new look. And underscore. Sabri Reed has put on a couple pounds. New looks for both of them. They both had stints in LTD in the past. Signing them, firstly, to a seasonal contract to bring them back. And who knows what happens in the future. Everyone, welcome back. Underscore Sabri Reed and Fusion.
<laughs> of course, Simon picks underscore. That's the type of attitude of exactly why I brought you both back here to LTD. Let's get down to business. Let's crack a cold one. Back to Time Machine Arena. To welcome two superstars back to leaning towards death wrestling. First coming out from Folkestone, England. 5'11", 250 pounds. This is Fusion. Fusion walking down the ring, all business. He's been gone for quite some time, over a year. Both of these individuals. Well, the door is definitely open for wrestlers of the past to rejoin LTD. And these two have qualified past all the tests. And yes, that's Mr. Fusion himself back. Underscore slapping himself in the face, trying to get hype in the back. Because here he comes. Born in France, now residing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a former Blitzkrieg champion. 6'3", 284 pounds. It's underscore Sabri Ari. Yes, a big warm welcome back from everybody in the booth and everybody in the back. Underscore and Fusion, and yes, another surprise. I've mentioned a few other names along the way that are going to be in Series 5 of the cards. If you don't know, you'd have to watch in the past or wait for Series 5 to come out. But yes, there will be a Fusion and an Underscore. Yes, Sabria Reed and Fusion Skull will have cards in Series 5 here on LTD. Welcome back, and now let's fight. This is how we settle shit. Who's coming back into the company with a victory? Who's going to make the most of it? Wow, face first. Sabri already eats some canvas. Ooh, vodka. Who's drinking the vodka? Comrade, leave you guys some vodka or something? All right. Help with hair growing. Oh, boy. There you go. What about hair growing? Anybody know some good ways to grow hair back? I'd love to grow my hair back. Eh, why don't you get a wig, uh, Rex? Why, you think I should? Oh, shut up, Rex, jeez. Roll through, big splash, sent on air by Fusion. Kick to the back, and now Fusion Skull picking up underscore, takes an elbow to the gut piece. Oh, missing with the splash. Fusion rolls back in. A much bigger underscore than I remember. Yeah, he was smaller. He's grown up, and he's grown out, Blaze. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess you're right there. I hate to agree with you. Dragon screw leg whip by Sabri I'll read right now in his return and now a kick to the face on Fusion. Sabri strolling around with a big right hand underscore. Sending Fusion into the far corner. Closes in, but Fusion's quickness still there. He's one of the quickest in the business. And a big leg take down by underscore. Wrapping it up. Rolling back. Yes, Raven can cash in her briefcase on Speranza anytime she wants. And Ripper Spring Heel. That should be easy to remember. Raven and Ripper, both with R's, have the briefcases. Wow, Blaze, you can't remember that? Oh, shut up, Rex. Fusion. Dropping him down right in his face. Was that the fusion conclusion? Uh-oh. It could be the conclusion of the match. Sabri Ari down and up one. And a kick out. There's the LTD website. You can find the roster page. Everyone's cards in Series 1. I'll soon be putting Series 2 up there as well. Series 2.1, Batch 1, tonight, will be released on social media. Yeah, he's yelling at you. He's using your name and cursing at you during the match, Rex. Wow, Sabri. Talk about not being focused on your match. You gotta worry about Fusion, not me. Doesn't look like it. He may win over Fusion with ease here. No kick out by Fusion saying, eh, eh, no Dewey. We yes, Raven and Ripper can ch uh, cash in their briefcase. Ripper has the Blitzkrieg briefcase. 
Oh, I said it easy there. Look at this fastball pitch right in the grill. Holy piss in a bottle. It's Aubrey on the outside now. Fusion rolling after him. Oh, what? You're going to cash in? Oh, no. Raven's thinking about cashing in her briefcase here. Well, you're watching Fusion get his ass handed to him. No wonder. Caliber's back. You can hold on to that briefcase till the end of the month for all I care. That's on you, not me. I'm just letting people who don't already know. Oh, man. Holy shit. I thought he was going to throw him out and over. But that running power bomb tossed by Sabri already in the cover. One, two. Oh, an underscore almost snatched a victory right there. Well, I, it's, in a, it's in the chat, so Raven says, if Fusion wins, she will cash in her briefcase. Well, here comes Fusion right now, making a comeback. Uh-oh. Could be looking for the full Fusion jacket. Damn, that's tough to say. That's almost tough as uh, Blitzkrieg briefcase. If you, if you say it once and slowly, it's not tough. Aye, aye, aye. Holy, look at the agility of Underscore. A lot of extra poundage, but he can still... Move around in the ring with ease. Now stomping down and dropping his knee right on the arm of Fusion. Surprise match with a comeback here of underscore and Fusion. Now Fusion still digging down deep. Trying to find a way to come back. As he's been holding out, he's taking quite a beating in the matchup. Right hand and a big clothesline. Another one by Fusion. Set him up. Big kick takes Sabri Ari down. Now underscores in trouble. Back up again. Oh, face first. The fusion conclusion indeed. One, two, and a kick out by Sabri Ari. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to let you cash in tonight, uh, Raven. Maybe I won't let you. You can't do that, Blaze. If she cashes in, she gets the fight. Duh. Oh, shut up, Rex. I was just messing. Now Fusion, uh-oh, what's he got in mind here? Wrapping him up. Underscore, nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Slipping out, big right hand staggers Fusion. Now kicks him back. Fusion taking him up top. Oh my goodness! Is that the full Fusion jacket? I gotta get used to his new moves. Fusion, pull it out. Oh! The heavy artillery now once after taking quite a beating from underscore. But both men making their return. And a takedown. Up again now. Fusion Skull. Setting up underscore and nails it. The Fusion conclusion again. Back body drop by underscore. Still has some fight left in him. That'd be a good one, Bagwell. And down he goes. Fusion on a roll right now. Uh-oh. What's he got in mind here? Loading up his foot. Setting up Sabri all read. And there it is. That's the Fusion conclusion. One, two, they're all the conclusion fusion wins and we're gonna have a battle queen championship match today wow what a fight that's the way it's done people Fusion making his return. What a battle between the two, too. You can see why they were members of LTE before and why they are back. And the winner of the match, Fusion! Drum Monkey with a welcome back. Congratulations to Fusion coming around, and we're going to keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. All them doggies rolling.
time for a rumble. Yes, definitely welcome back, underscore and fusion. And here's your 30 men. Beast, Aiden, Bastage, Bill, Blade, Bone, Cowboy, Drum, Hobo, Judge, Kyle, L.A., Mark, Marley, Matt, Miles, Paul, Elon, Razor, R.A., Ripper, Ronnie, Scott, S.P., Sean, Shifte, Stefan, Great Red Dragon, Toad and Wally. Coming up next, stay tuned. Let me know in the chat who you think is going to walk away with this one. Let's do this. 30 individuals. It's rumble time. Who will come out first? Who knows? I don't even know. Well, I want to thank you all for joining the show here tonight. Whether you're chilling in the chat or watching the replay. All my LTD members, fans, PlayStation Network followers, YouTubers, gamers, streamers, podcasters, even you lurkers. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, turn it blue. And then sit back, relax with the AI, take it for a ride. Glad to be a part of your day. And let's see who comes out first. Coming out, drawing the unlucky number one in a 30-man rumble from San Diego, California, 6'3", 245 pounds, the burnout, Marley Good. Marley be good. Gord's booing him. Damn, Gordo. And coming out at number two. That's right. A shot at whoever walks away with our main event here tonight. Vernon here. Yay, Showtime Vernon Quinn is in the building. Good to see ya. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. Anyone but bastards. I see your picks. Vernon Quinn uh, gets... You can get a... Uh, application in again and you can also put in a ladies application which when we have battle queen division shows maybe you have a lady i know you have a bbq back there somewhere ain't it coming out at number two i do have a song for him we might as well play it <laughs> The Bone Dog's banana. He loves when I play this song.
There you go, Bone Dog Banana. Good to see everybody here tonight. It's Fantasy Action Wrestling. We are on Time Machine Arena. I'm going to go out and beat someone up and take their number, Blaze. You can't do... Never mind. Go ahead, Rex. See you later. Bye, everybody in the chat. I know you'll miss me. Hope you can hold the show together without me, Blaze. <laughs> oh, jeez. Shut up, Rex. See you later. Everyone say bye to Rex. Bye, Rex. Kicking aside. And now stomped down by Bone Dog. This is a Blitzkrieg Rumble, so rapid entry. And we'll get down to the final person. They'll get a shot at the FAW World Championship. And it's the Great Red Dragon. How you doing? Here tonight from Louisville, Kentucky. Coming out next, GRD. And these guys here are just going to beat the snot, piss, shit, farts, and burps out of each other as we count down to the final one and two competitors here in a 30-man Blitzkrieg Rumble for the next FAW Championship. Now there'll probably be an FAW member tossed in. We'll have a Rumble for that, maybe. From Naples, Italy, the son of Morgan Nightwalker coming out at number four. It's Aiden Nightwalker. We got four men ripping each other to shreds. Say hello to the top turn buckle. And now GRD trying to dispose of Marley Good. Aiden's going to take out the Bone Dog. No, Bone Dog hanging on and stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> So much better with Rex gone, yes. He finds out he can't get in that match. Ripper Spring Heel. Ripper Spring Heel has a briefcase as well. Ripper can challenge Mr. U Taker. He says he's going to announce when he wants to challenge for the briefcase. Hey, that's his prerogative. Kind of takes some of the fun away. It might be a, it might be a trick up Ripper's sleeve. You never know. He might pull a little surprise out of somewhere after all. And now Bone Dog still hanging on. We got all five men that have joined. Raven, are you giving me confirmation that you're challenging Speranza and cashing in your briefcase here tonight? If so, that match will be next. If you decide not to, we'll do it another night. Redneck Avenger comes out at number six. R.A. coming out of number six to try to it's crowd the ring here right now as no one has been eliminated. Very weird. But they know FAW world title shots can turn into LTD title shots. But it's no easy task indeed. Russian leg sweep by the Great Red Dragon, and he's not Russian. I know that for him. Or maybe he is. I don't know. He's taking his time. He's not taking his time either. That's bad. I get a button again. He, she is confirming we have ourselves a Battle Queen Championship fight here tonight. One-on-one, -on -one, Raven and Speranza Dante. Shifty coming in right behind his boy, Great Red Dragon. Still, now well, we got seven in the ring. What a fight. Nobody wants to get eliminated. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen all eight get in there. Well, they're going to start dropping like flies. I have a feeling, folks. We're moving really slow. <laughs> well, now who's coming out next? Shifty's trying to take out his tag team partner, Great Red Dragon. Everyone wants that title shot. Yeah, Rex got beat up a little bit. He, as soon as he left the booth, he got kicked and slammed by j Dog and Caliber, but he made it out now. He decided to get into his car and take off, so he's out of here. Bye, Rex. Stefan Knight. Now we have all eight starting us out. Still in the ring. Stefan Knight trying to eliminate Marley Good. This is unprecedented, folks. People, this is unreal. And now Marley Good is the first to go. The burnout has burned himself out. And just in time for another one to come in, we're going to have a crowded, crowded, crowded match. Outlaw Nation's in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuning in to Blaze Radio. 
Sit back, relax, let the AI take it for a ride. We are in Time Machine Arena. It's Fantasy Action Wrestling. And we just got an impromptu Battle Queen, LTD Battle Queen title. There is an FAW Battle Queen title, but that has been vacated. All the FAW titles are vacated. We you not you unified them all into that world title, cashing in all those belts. And now all there is in FAW is tag belts who are held by the New Day. We now know Bastage Gordson and the Scavengers, J Dog and J Vulture, will fight them. And there goes Aiden Nightwalker to second to say see you later here in the Rumble. London Markham's in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuning in Blaze Radio. This is Time Machine Arena. We are live with Fantasy Action Wrestling, but very rarely do we have a rumble with all LTD performers here in FAW. Well, we mix wrestlers from old and new, legends from all the companies here in Fantasy Action Wrestling, dream matches. All these matches today are cashing in from Wrestling Roulette. I added this rumble to find out who the next number one contender will be. Good to see everybody. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Turn the like button blue. Good to be a part of your day. Hope you guys enjoy the show. It's your boy Blaze McCoy and Bone Dog is out. We got five left fighting. Shifty trying to dispose of Stefan Knight. Redneck Avenger now rolls up and there goes Stefan. Stefan has been eliminated. We're down to four. 30 man rumble. We got a lot of competitors to go. These guys are just fighting to do whatever they can. Paul Utaker coming out next. Paul Utaker, the heir to darkness, ready for a fight as well. Stefan Knight walking out. Great Red Dragon has been eliminated. They are starting to drop like flies. We got four inside the ring and Shifty and RA. Paul Utaker and Ripper Springheel. We're going to get down to business. There's the website for LTD where the uh, roster page has been highlighted. I mean, updated. I, I, I. I'm just happy Rex is gone. So much room for activities. How about drinking activities? Here's the countdown, and it's Wild Matt Outlaw. And there goes R.A. One cowboy in, one cowboy out. They're all trying to cowboy up. Four still in the ring here. Yeah, Rex left. I'm kind of happy he's gone as well. Mr. Utaker's in the building. Welcome to the show. You're doing the Blaze Radio. Make sure you guys hit the share button as well. We still got great action coming here tonight. Championship, two championship fights, and actually the second one's a four-match gauntlet. So we got a lot more action here to come. A couple matches that aren't going to happen here tonight. Machete vs. Crimson Ninja and Molly Shamrock vs. Peronza. We will have those on the next. Fantasy Action Wrestling. Kyle Young, the second city soldier, coming out at number 11. Ripper Springheel tossed over and out. We're down to four again. And it's going to come down to business. It's going to come down to the nitty and the gritty. The final competitor will get a shot at the FAW Championship. It'll be the winner of our main event versus the winner of this Rumble versus a qualifier from wrestling. 70s, from the 80s, from the 90s, from 2000. Who knows? Stay tuned. TJ cheering on Kyle, his Weapon X compadre. The Bastage, the poster boy for the digital wrestling cards. He just happened to be number one, the lowest in alphabetical order in Series 1. Shifty's out. It took both Paul and Matt to send him over and out, but he's eliminated. And now Matt Outlaw has Paul Utaker. Well, don't watch the... If you guys hate Rex, don't watch the first match because he fought Drew McIntyre. I mean, Drew McIntyre. And he got the win. Ugh. Kyle, not Drew. Oh, boy. Bastage. Setting up Kyle Young. Here comes Phelan Cal. The big reinforcements from the Redneck Ranch. Shifty taking the walk of shame here as we continue the battle. Gordson booing his tag team partner, Bastage. Oh, geez. Bastage and Gordson trying to clean up. If they can win all their title shots, Gordson has four title shots himself. 
Gordson now has a shot at the world title in LTD, the world title in FAW, and both tag team titles. Gordson now winning two competitions, winning Jackpot Madness and winning the first round of GPC. Razor coming out next, your lethal hardcore champion, the Razor. Already qualified to fight the Razor in his next title defense. It's Hobo Ezekiel. Oh man, just stinks just thinking about it. And now up, taking down Russian leg sweep by Paul Utaker. Well, first of all, Vernon Quinn, it's not that difficult. It's not on the website. All you gotta do is send me a message on Facebook, Twitter, or Skype. And now Matt Outlaw, big right hand by Kyle Young. Bastards kicked in a dick. Oh, right in the pee pee. Feel and tell. And Bastards going at it. Two heavyweights. As out for blood, Ronnie Brown is out next. We got seven. Crowd in a damn ring again. What a fight. Yes, watch Nightbot for the links. Amen. There you go. Back and forth. We'll chit chat, Vernon. All right, elbows by Razor. But as I said earlier, like I said, I got totally no spots available right now. We'll see how the LIT goes if we lose any of those. How many spots we lose to gain? Bastage with a big slam on feeling cow. And wow, thrown over and out. Was that Ronnie Brown? No, Ronnie's still in there. That was the Razor. Razor eliminated early and Saber to Scott is in the match now. Scott entering it starting to break down. Von Star waving, he's watching closely. Getting ready to come out. Sean Shamrock standing in the gorilla position. We got blood in this rumble. My goodness gracious, golly gee willikers. I see that right. There goes Felin Cal. Kyle Young eliminating a big guy. And we got six in there slugging it out. This is one of the best rumbles I've ever seen. It's been chaos since the get-go. And a big suplex by Ronnie Brown. And there goes. Who is that? Kyle Young. Saber to Scott and the Bastage working together to dump Kyle Young out. And now they're fighting it out together. Matt Outlaw clinging to the bottom rope as Ronnie Brown setting him up. This is one of the best rumbles I've seen in a long time. Always, it hasn't had one moment lacking. No breaks in the action and a crowded house as the drum monkey is at number 17. What a battle we got going on here. Who's gonna be in next? And there goes the Bastage. Oh, the Drum Monkey, I forgot he has the old uh, Chaps on. He's getting the power of the Chaps, I think, people. Crowded house. I was going to do some uh, crowded house jokes like something so strong, something, something so strong. Russian leg sweep. Ronnie Brown is out. Maybe Hobo Ezekiel is smelling something strong. Maybe that's what they were writing about. The only other one I remember is Don't Dream It's Over. <laughs> Everyone remembers that song. All right, here we go. Drum Monkey showing off his dupa. Saber to Scott. Paul Utaker still in there. And Wild Mad Outlaw. What a f Oh, man. I summoned the stinky hobo. And there goes Outlaw. Oh, I summoned the stinky ass hobo. Something so strong. Oh, it's a smell of hobo. Drum Monkey, just keep your ass facing the other way, not towards the hard camera. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You're tuning in to Blaze Radio. We're rocking here in Time Machine Arena. Still more to come. Don't go anywhere. And you never know what surprises we may pop out right here on the show. We got 30 people involved in this rumble. Shot at the FAW title on the line. Paul Utaker in trouble, fighting his way back in. 
shift days in the building. Well, he's not celebrating. He uh, got eliminated. There's Sean Shamrock. And now after talking trash, he's got to back it up in the ring. <laughs> and now, yeah, being impatient ain't going to make me want to talk to you about that right, right away. <laughs> Scott, Sean, Paul, Drum, oh, and a stinky-ass hobo. Look at Hobo standing away from everybody. I think he knows. Or they just want to fight away from him. <laughs> now, Hobo trying to toss out Paul. Scott's in trouble. Sean has him hanging. And Saber to Scott Burke has been eliminated by Shamrock. TJ Toad, he probably wishing he could come out two more later at his good luck number 22. But coming out at number 20 is the TJ Toad, double Toad 7 of Weapon X. Here we go. Drum Monkey, get your dupa facing the other way. Tan it at least or something. Now you know it's showing. My goodness. Big takedown by Shamrock on Hobo and a knee right to his grill. He just shoves him down. He touched Hobo's mouth. He's Sean Shamrock is he's, he's dangerous. He's daring. He touched Hobo's mouth. Bill Hay Jr., the son of the founder of Ruthless Incorporated. And number 21, it's about to get crazy. Paul Utaker eliminated. I missed that one. Who we got in here? Toad, Hate, Shamrock, Hobo, and Drum. Wow, what a battle. I missed who took out Paul as well. <laughs> TJ up, and now TJ in big trouble to Toad. He needs some of his stable mates to help him. Sent over the top by Hobo and Bill Hate. What a rumble, people. DDT by Hate on Hobo. That's what you do. You throw someone over with help from someone else, and then you go after them. Shadow Press, our Crazy 8 champion, our record-breaking Crazy 8 champion. Well, thank everyone for stopping in and hanging out here tonight. Hit the button and turn it blue if you're digging what's going down, folks. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. We're having some fun here on a manic Monday, if you will. Hobo eliminated a little too soon for his liking, and he's fired up. And now, Drum Monkey. Turn your ass around. Literally, Drum. Oh, I'm so glad of his logo, his Drum Monkey logo, right over the old crack. The countdown continues, and MSW, Miles Stanley Ward is out next. Look at Shamrock going at the Crazy 8 champion, Shadow Press. Record-breaking because he's defended that title not once but twice. Shadow Press, the first ever to defend that Crazy 8 championship more than once. And he's on a record-breaking pace. Can he do it again? Well, his partner, Gord Sin, will be picking out most of the opponents. Oh, and he's sent over and out as I'm talking about him. SP is out. Shadow Press can't believe it. Shamrock with the elimination. There's Nightbot dropping my social media links. Contact me on Facebook, Twitter, Skype. There he is, Wally, Wally, Wally. Coming up next, Wally. Wally, the adopted son of Weapon X for the Stable Wars only, joining them. Hoping to pull off a big victory here as we got a handful of competitors left. And it's anybody's ball game. And Drum Monkey and his butt cheeks have been eliminated. Hobo and his stinky ass have been eliminated. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a lot of smells that just got sent out of the ring. Oh, don't pour Drum Monkey him. Low bridge on Wally. Uh-oh, there's Wally and Shamrock going at it. Big boot, and out comes Cowboy John. Cowboy John, Shamrocker on Wally. Bill Hay Jr. coming over as Cowboy John stomping away on MSW. We got a brawl here, a little Wally versus Shamrock. Now Wally up against the corner. Shamrock trying to eliminate Wally. Has him halfway up looking for some help. No one's coming over to help. Here comes MSW, but Wally fighting his way off. 
Oh, Jake Bagwell's commending someone else with the chaps instead of trying to take him off. Judgment coming out of number 26. Four competitors left. Six in the ring. One of these ten individuals will be the number one contender for the FAW World Championship. Who can it be now? It ain't going to be Rex, that's for sure. Backbreaker on Wally by Cowboy John. Bill Hayden, MSW colliding. Cowboy goes over after Shamrock. And taken down again. Uh-oh, Cowboy John setting up Sean Shamrock. Lord Amadeus in a number 27. We got a crowded house again, and Cowboy sends Shamrock over and out. Shamrock got distracted momentarily, and Cowboy John made him pay. Six in the ring. Three to go here in this 30-man number one contender for the FAW World Championship Rumble. All six men going at it. Bill Hay Jr. in trouble of elimination, and here comes Beast, the Anarchist, the Demon Beast. Former tag team champion coming to the ring now, the big man, going right after Cowboy John for some reason. Shifty cheering for Cowboy John. Joe Ham, Joe Ham Sandwich is in the building. Joe Ham, the drama bull, is <laughs> in the house. What up? Joe Ham sandwich in the house. Good to see you, Joe Ham. <laughs> Shifty still in the building as well. I want to thank each and every one of you guys. We still got the FAW championship on the line in a gauntlet. And Raven is cashing in her briefcase to go up against. Whoa, he just took out Amadeus. Speranza for the title. Two championship matches still to come. And one's four matches, actually. That should be crazy. The gauntlet for the FAW championship. I could make it a five-man elimination match, but each man has won and struggled to qualify, so they'll each have a shot in the order that they qualified for their shots. Bill Hay Jr. is out, and a DDT by Judgment on Wally. Six competitors left, four, five in the ring, seven competitors left, I should say. Two left to go. No, CE fights tomorrow night. We have six-man elimination match and then a title fight. We have the Invitational members will fight tomorrow night. The oh, Beast is gone. Beast sent over and out. And now who's number 29? It's Mark Caliber, the stat man. And that means former world champion, the Blade Charge, will be number 30. Outlaw, I think Monstar, well, if you knew who Shamrock was, you know that he's Monstar's character, and he already told you. Wally trying to send Judgment over and out. Just saying. And now Cowboy and Caliber reacquainting themselves as MSW crawling for somewhere to hide it looks like back and forth oh and now big right hand by cowboy john on msw in comes judgment and there he is the rocket scientist who saved the world the rocket man blade charge wally hanging on now and blade charge entering may have just saved wally but Blade Charge going after trying to eliminate him. These two are on the same stable in Stable Wars, but I don't think Blade Charge gives a shit right now. He's trying to take out Wally. And he does! Wow, a little uh, tough love, maybe? Holy piss in a bottle. Holy, holy hell in a handbasket. What a rumble. Oh, it's down to these five. Will it be Cowboy John? Will it be Judgment? Will it be Miles Stanley Ward, Caliber, or Blade Charge? I believe Cowboy John and Caliber have both held the FAW Championship before. We don't keep track of it. There you go. You can check with Monstar Sports Entertainment. That's Sean Shamrock. 
You can go over to his house. He'll cook you dinner. You can uh, you can you can call him your friend. He'll be your best friend. Sean Shamrock and Shooter Carnegie too. They love it. Calling over a tie between MSW and Caliber. As Cowboy John will not be the wiener of the match. We're down to four. MSW, Caliber, Blade Charge, Judgment. Who's going to take home the number one container? <laughs> Contender, I know. Another fub flub of mine in the past. Fub. I'm a flub. I'm a mess up. Saying the word that means messing up. Oh boy, I get the button. Here's the final four, if you will. Big yeah, don't buy a card from Shooter. Do not. Seven and a half beers. Jake Bagwell, thank you. We're down to the final three as MSW cast over and out. Judgment, Blade Charge, Mark Caliber. Who can it be now? Blade Charge is in trouble and he is out of here. Caliber and Judgment are going to battle. Former FAW champion Caliber. And Judgment. One of the legends here in LTD, the icon, the puppet master against the stat man, the Joker Crow. Here we go, FAW title shot on the line. Joe Ham, that is Mark Caliber, the Joker, the Crow. We call him Patchwork. He's a bunch of different characters right now. You don't know who the hell he is. Holy, holy bananas. Now Bone Dog's already out. Holy sheep shit. Shifty's in the chat. You know what that one is. Car Lemon. Yeah, that's where you get lemons at, 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 Sh at Shamrock's facility. It, it is like a regular facility. <laughs> Go back at it. Now oh, there it is! He's done it! He has done it! Taking him over, taking him out, and judgment. Picking up the victory. Wow. Check out the highlights. We have a new number one contender to the FAW title. The, I the Puppet Master, Judgment! Well, thanks, Shifty, for joining me at the commentary booth. In the past, and we'll be doing that again sometime in the future as well. Well, let's set up our Battle Queen Championship fight, cashing in her briefcase, the Enchanted Raven, taking on Speranza. Coming up next. Just because I can, let's debut the Blackout Arena. Maybe. Yep. Here's a little preview of the Blackout Arena. It's not completely done, but why not? It'll be the only match that's not a knockout match in this arena. 
No disqualification, no count out. Battle Queen title on the line. Speranza versus the winner of the briefcase. She ripped it on down from atop that ladder and now claiming her title shot. What's this? Oh, geez. Hi, I'm Shooter Carnegie, the owner of Carnegie's Carnival of Car Sales. Are you looking for that shady side swindling borderline consumer reported red flag steal of a deal? No, literally, it uh, could be a steal of a deal. For real, I can't confirm or deny where any car was previously owned or purchased or permanently borrowed from. That's my legal disclosure for everyday people. Oh, boy. Don't buy a car off of him. I guess this match is brought to you by Shooter Carnegie's Carnival of Car Sales. But coming out of the ring first, coming in from England, she is the Battle Queen briefcase holder, the Enchanted Raven. Veranza has defended her title a few times. And in Time Machine Arena, we can jump around. So we're in the new Blackout Arena. Coming soon, LTV Blackout. All knockout matches. Woo, it's going to be fun. Yeah, we'll probably hear that a few times. She has defended this title on several occasions, proving to be one of the toughest battle queens in history. But now a surprise match she was not expecting. She was set to face Molly Shamrock here tonight, picked by Rob Machete. That'll be on the next FAW episode. But tonight, coming down to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, she is the Leaning Towards Death Wrestling Battle Queen Champion, Speranza Donce! Cashing in the briefcase is Raven. And here we go. Championship on the line, a Battle Queen title. After this, we'll go to the main event. It's four matches. D-Train, Derek Steele, Paragon, and Gord Sin. That's the order of the gauntlet for Bryce Jacobs. Ronza ready for her title defense. I don't think she was ready coming into today. Well, I told her and Mr. You Taker, they need to be on alert and ready to defend their title anytime we're live. Ronza, because she got the game face on, folks. No one to mess around with, that's for damn sure. Battle Queen champion for a reason as a couple de title defenses under her belt. Well, there is the belt. And we're here in the Blackout Arena. Battle Queen championship about to go down. There's the Enchanted Raven. And there, the challenger. She is ready. Raven fired up. And the champion, Speranza Donsi. Can she continue her streak of success with that belt over her shoulder? We're about to find out. Will the, the thought of a surprise match with Raven cost her? She says she'll be prepared no matter what, no matter when. Well, Brad, we're going to find out now because here we go. Battle Queen Championship on the line. Ray the referee shows Raven. And there's the belt. 
Battle Queen title. We're in Time Machine Arena. We're just giving you a sneak peek of the LTD Blackout Arena. A small arena will be coming to you just for knockout matches, a special show. Maybe for Mondays, who knows? There's the bell, and here we go. Kick to the gut now. Backbreaker to start us off. Enchanted Raven in control. Raven trying to just break Speranza at the outset of the matchup and take the title from her. Say hello to the top turn, Bucko. Raven winning that briefcase last week. Not pissing around much. And cashing in here tonight. Rolls over Speranza. Tries to win the title early. Be record time. Setting her up again now. Taking out the legs is Speranza. Stomp on the knee of Raven. Drags her to the center of the friggin' ring here. Lines are up. Look at that maneuver by Speranza dropping a leg across the friggin' grill. Speranza the champion, the battle queen. She's surprised a lot of her peers defending that title in different style matches. Well, this is the first ever cash-in of a briefcase for the Battle Queen Championship. I try to keep it fresh, kind of continuously evolve all the divisions, all the events. Something new for you every once in a while here in the Blaze Radio Network. Hope you enjoy. We got some cool stuff planned for the summer. A blazing hot summer again. Indeed. Raven. Working on the neck of the champion. A kick by Speranza, caught by Raven and sweeping a leg, knocking her down. Bryce Jacobs still to come to defend his championship. And now we know Judgment, who believe it or not, believe it or not, I'm walking on in. I never thought I could be so free. Uh, well, Judgment button. Judgment has not held a championship here in LTD. Here since almost the outset of the company in 2017 here in the digital era, Judgment never really wanted title shots. He had a couple hiatuses from the company, but now with the number one contendership to the FAW championship, it'll be a triple threat match with the winner of the gauntlet tonight, Judgment, and a soon to be named FAW competitor. Right now, Raven and Speranza going at it, reversal by Speranza. Rolls on top, and now Raven grabs the arm, trying to get a submission here from the champion. Speranza Doncey fights out with left-hand strikes. Raven sent into the ropes by the champion. Leapfrog over, duck down under. Reversal, dumps her overhead like a sack of trash. TJ cheering on his girl, Speranza, the battle queen. And now she must have heard her man, TJ, cheering her on as she makes Raven eat some canvas and goes for the cover. Kick out by Raven. Kick to the back, a knee strike. Right in the chicken wing of Raven. And now over onto the apron. Raven casting a spell on her. What's she have in mind here? No way. Gonna bring her in the hard way. Second rope, dangling participles. Got her! Wow, what a maneuver by Raven. Flipping, flippy shit. Down goes Peron to the champion. She thinks she has enough to get the title right here. Two count, almost. Wow. Raven thought it was three. Arguing with Ray, the referee. Drum monkey cheering for Raven. Outlaw Nation cheering for Raven. Raven has Peronza in trouble, trying to take that title from her. Will be defended the next Battle Queen show. Looks like it might be Monday, June 1st. Right hand by Speranza in a backhand. Spinning punch by Speranza. Holy hell in a handbasket. There's a two count. And a kick out by the Enchanted Raven. And Speranza looks to put her away. This could be trouble. Speranza wants to go dancing. Oh, and a takedown by Raven. Scouted well. And now Raven has Speranza. Sends her over and out. No disqualifications. No count outs, people. We will have a wiener. She's going to do it again. She's going to go back. Jack. Do it again. Big suplex. Flinging the champion. Back in the ring and a cover by Raven. Oh, a two count. Almost another pinfall attempt. 
Raven with her foot in the back, the small of the back. My goodness gracious. Now reversal as Raven up to a vertical base and a forearm block by Speranza. Speranza setting her up. Oh, right to the ropes. Ouch. Wow. Not a safe landing for Raven, and she is shook. She is in trouble. And now flipping the leg out. Speranza up top with a hurricane run a takedown on Enchanted Raven. Raven back up again. Moving in with a forearm smash as Speranza. Not once, not twice, but three times a later. Raven's in trouble. Speranza the champion. We've seen her do this time and time again. Slow to get up. Raven with an arm drag takedown on Speranza. Raven! Now, back to the offense. Oh, now disgusting. How embarrassing. Just shoving her boot right in the mouth of the champion. Disrespectful. Dragging the carcass of Dauncey to the center the ring and cover. That'd be enough. We might have a new champion right here. Oh, a kick out by Speranza. Drum monkey cheering for Raven. Raven trying to set up Speranza to finish off the job right now. She going for the high kick. Here it is. Oh, man. Never more kick. One, two. Holy piss in a bottle. We got a new battle queen champion. Wow. New champion. She has successfully cashed in the briefcase. The winner of the match. And new. LTD Battle Queen Champion, The Enchanted Raven. Raven making her return. Just like Fusion and Sabria Reed after being gone for quite some time. She qualified in the ladder match at the last Battle Queen fight. And now she is your new Battle Queen Champion. And soon we'll have to find out who's next in line to try to take it from her. But coming up next, it's time to start the gauntlet. The gauntlet for the FAW World Championship. Main event gauntlet coming up next. DJ consoling Speranza. She's held that title for quite some time, folks. What a battle. So, TJ, you got none to be ashamed of. Speranza's been a champion for quite a while. And now it's time for the FAW World Championship. For the first time, it'll be defended and no FAW members involved in a gauntlet with four LTD challengers. It'll definitely, it definitely stay in the house of LTD, but who will walk away? D-Train qualified first back in the day. Then Derek Steele won another match, another Rumble to qualify. Paragon winning a Rumble as well qualified, and now Gord Sin, who won Jackpot Madness, the 52-man event, has the final shot. First up, Bryce Jacobs, D-Train, and then after this match, they'll be sent down to the ring to fight immediately. Title on the line, D-Train, Bryce Jacobs, coming up next. Live here in Time Machine Arena, I want to thank you all for stopping by, popping in, hanging out with your boy Blaze McCoy. It's time to get busy. 
Title on the line. Not once, not twice, not three times a lady. It's four times with Gord Sin cleaning up the garbage. Gord Sin, you could end the night cheering FAW with the FAW title around your waist. His first of four title shots, Gord Sin has four championship shots earned. FAW world title, LTD world title, and both tag championships. Good luck, Gord. Coming down first from Fort Worth, Texas. Six foot ten, three hundred and forty pounds. The big old wrecking ball of sexy. He is representing Ruthless Incorporated. The D Train. D Train got the fans here in Time Machine Arena on their feet. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow night we'll be back for LIT versus LTD G6 Tornado matches. And then the title's on the line. GPC Tag Cup Gauntlet on Thursday. And Chamber matches on Friday in the Combat Kingdom Stable Wars. His opponent from Harlem, New York, 6'7", 320 pounds. The Predator, the Prince of Power, the Harlem Hero, your FAW Fantasy Action Wrestling World Champion, Bryce Jacobs. Bryce Jacobs with a tall task. If he can successfully win all four matches tonight, it might impress the LTD committee well enough to give him an LTD world title shot. Well, right now, Chance Nightwalker is your LTD world heavyweight champion. He'll be defending that against Gord Sin at the Combat Kingdom. Stable War grand finale of Triple Double Trouble. Shadow Pressure Crazy 8 champion. Mr. U-Taker is the Blitzkrieg champion, but Ripper can challenge him for the first ever one-on-one -on -one Blitzkrieg title fight anytime we're live. And of course you don't care who wins, Gord. That's why we love you so much. Ah, uh, you said you loved him. What are you doing here, Rex? Get out of here. You said you were leaving. I come back for the main event. You know how I do it. <laughs> oh, shut up, Rex. The champion here in Time Machine Arena, the Predator, the Prince of Power, Bryce Jacobs. Celebrating in the ring. Will it be the final time? He has to defend that belt four times to keep it here tonight. A tall task, but he said he's up for it. We're about to find out. My face hurts a little bit, you punk ass. I beat you, J-Dog. You might have sucker punch, sucker kicked me, I mean. But I beat you in a match, and you can never take that away from me, J-Dog. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rex. There it is. The glittery, shiny, fiery, lightning-filled belt from Fantasy Action Wrestling, the World Championship. Just the championship I made for the FAW division, which is normally non-LTD wrestlers. But now a stepping stone for the LTD world title as well as the tag titles here in FAW. All right. Bryce Jacobs holding that title tight on his shoulder. Hopes to walk out of it tonight and maybe cash it in for a shot. A chance. Or, or Gord Sin, whoever walks away with the world championship. Well, we'll have two more. World title contenders coming out of the LIT vs. LTD event. Yes, after this week's G6, the LIT LTD event will separate. LIT members will fight each other for the final event before uh, the committee picks who gets contracts. And then the final will be three matches, two world title shots and a lethal title shot for all those involved in the LTD LIT event. World title on the line here in FAW. Here we go. 
Bowtie watching closely here. And a big takedown by Bryce right off the bat trying to end. Now that's the, the way to go when you know you got three more competitors waiting. I would run a gauntlet easy. Well, we've, we've wanted to have a Rex gauntlet, but it wouldn't be a Rex gauntlet. It would just be you. Because if you lose the first one, you're done in a gauntlet. It would just be you having to fight seven different people, Rex. I would be up for it. No, you wouldn't. Do I get to pick the seven people? No. That's not fair. Exactly. D-Train, life's not fair, Rex. Down goes Bryce Jacobs. We'd have to have qualifying matches just to see who would qualify to be those seven that would fight you in that. Uh, we couldn't really call it a gauntlet because it would just be Rex versus seven. <laughs> Who's seven? I don't want to fight him. Oh, no, seven different people. You mean one after another? Yeah. We'd sell tickets for that, Rex. There ain't no rubber match. He never beat me. <laughs> I never, you never beat me, J-Dog. Forget that. Picking him up now. Bryce Jacobs has D-Train in trouble. His ball go right onto the post. Not a steel post, but they hurt nonetheless. Holy hell in a hand basket here, people. No disqualification, no count out. There will be a wiener. All three matches, four matches, I should say. Now, after this is over, we're going to send down Derek Steele to Forge. We're going to send down the Paragon and then Gordson last to find out who will walk away tonight, the FAW World Championship. Everybody wants to fight Rex. I got 60 people just on the regular roster, not counting Invitation or Battle Queen. That's what gets me up to my 100. But 60 people on the active roster right now. We still have Battle Queen. I got about 20 there and, uh, yeah, about 20. 16 in the Invitational. Oh, no. Spinning him round and round in trouble. D-Train. Flung down like a sack of potatoes. And a cover by Bryce trying to get past the first obstacle. Kick out by the D-Train. I don't recall that. Uh, I, I don't recall that loss with Mondo. I, I blocked out all of the Mondo matches. Oh, shut up, Rex. And I beat Mondo, too. I beat everybody. No, you did not beat everybody. Let's not get carried away here, Rex. Well, you can get carried away, literally, for all I care. What do you mean? You calling in security after me? No, not yet. Face first. Face buster there by the D-Train. In trouble. Spinning around now, kicking him into Dupa. D-Train's ass has broken a couple of our rings here. Yeah, double double uh, strength springs in, in these mats now. Big right hand blocked by Bryce Jacobs. D-Train and Bryce for the championship on the line. Three competitors who've also qualified winning grumbles. So pretty much everyone in the company has had a shot at getting these four shots at the FAW title. We've had 30-man rumbles, 20-man rumbles, 10-man rumbles, and here are your winners of those rumbles. Well, J-Dog, I'm afraid to inform you when Rex came back, I doubled up the security, so no one's getting close to the booth Rex did a night at all. And we're taking off from Time Machine Arena as soon as we're done. Bryce Jacobs almost getting a pin on a D-Train. Bryce Jacobs knows he has a lot of work ahead of him. He needs to get the victory to keep going. And there's three other competitors waiting in the gorilla position to try to fight him. Send him over and out now. D-Train has Bryce Jacobs in a vertical position at ringside. And dumps him down, D-Train and the Predator putting on a show here. And it's our first of four title fights. Jacob's taking him up, power bomb on the D-Train, leverage pin. He's just trying to torture him right now. Holy sheep shit, y'all. Bryce Jacobs. Well, you know Mr. P pisses around and jokes around a lot, but Bryce Jacobs... 
he is all business here tonight. And he has to be if he's going to win this gauntlet and walk away with the title he walked in with. Now we got Bryce Jacobs with a big right hand takedown on the D train. Bryce helping up the D. Train sent back in the ring by the champion. Bryce Jacobs, a former tag team champion in LTD. Flips it over like an damn pancake. Oh, trying to break his leg. Trying to twist his knee. D-Train's got bad knees. And Bryce Jacobs trying to capitalize on it. Hammer Fist now got the D-Train down. The first test of Bryce Jacobs to get past the D-Train. Can he do it, Spear? D-Train's in trouble. Bryce sends him back in the ring trying to finish the job. But first, oh, face to the apron. I think I saw a tooth fly. Up again, climbing up top. What's a tooth fly, Blaze? Shut up, Rex. Big elbow misses. Door is open for the D train. Big right hand by Bryce. Bryce is going to lock the leg. Well, that looks like a hook, line, and sinker. Cover by Jacobs. And Bryce retains. Still the champion. Bryce Jacobs. What a fight, Bryce Jacobs. Passed the first test with a victory. Still the champion, but he can't celebrate with that belt for too long. One third of the G6 champions about to come out. Also qualifying with a win in a rumble previously. And he's going to have to defend this title three more times. I'd say that should impress the committee good enough to give him a title shot, if he can do it. Easier said than done, folks. There you see Andre Steele, Derek Steele, Marcus Schopp, your G6 champions. They'll be defending those belts Thursday night against D-Train, Wild Matt Outlaw, and Ethan Moore. Well, here we go, Bryce Jacobs. In the ring, still with his title. Hands it back over, and we're going right back at it, folks. Title on the line again, gauntlet style. Who's going to end up with this belt? Well, tomorrow night, the hot potato title will be on the line as well. Well, as, as long as LTV doesn't win 5 nothing. That's right, five chamber matches. I mean, G, G6 matches, I should say. Here we go, title on the line. Let's do it. Bryce Jacobs, just after winning the first match over the D-Train, and now moments later has to defend that title again in this gauntlet. Derek Steele of the G6 six-man Gladiator Tag Team Champions. Trying to add some gold to his list, but he'll have to run the gauntlet as the Paragon of Greatness and Gord Sitton, the final two competitors, are waiting in the wings to see who's going to walk away with the championship. And now flips him around. Derek, the machine, with a knee right to the chesticles and stomping on the titties. The Predator. You can see that he's already been put through the ringer in that first match with the D-Train. Can he snap back and win again against Derek Steele? Does the man with the plan, Mr. P, did he have a good enough plan to help Bryce Jacobs run a four-man gauntlet all title matches? We'll see.
Well, Jake, I didn't think they had intergender matches back then. I thought her first tag partner was Aphrodite. Gordson and Nightbot. Oh, uh, Gordson wants to trade in Bastage as his tag team partner and hire the Nightbot. Interesting. That's not what it says, Blaze. Oh, shut up, Brax. Just having fun. I would know what that's like. Uh oh. Say hello to the top turn, bugger. Derek Steele of the Forge trying to move in and take the victory from Bryce Jacobs and the title as well. Up again now, face to face. Combination of strikes by the champion. Floors Derek Steele the machine. Now Bryce with a forearm smash to the back. Jacob's kind of tangled up in the ropes, but it doesn't stop him from locking in a submission maneuver. Maneuver. A maneuver maneuver. I'm telling you, Hobo needs to get more of them. Bryce Jacobs. Has Derek Steele in a bad way, but the machine still fighting back. Oh, <laughs> your, your feud with Nightbot. Oh, trying to break his arm. That'll hamper him from doing his finishing maneuvers. Derek Steele, the machine, trying to put it together. This could do it right here. <clears throat> He's got him in the steel prison. No, couldn't get it locked in. The machine, Derek Steele, back up to a vertical base now, has Bryce Jacobs into the far corner, missing with the knee. Moving in now, Bryce Jacobs, over and out. Cover, grabs the legs, this could do it. Bryce Jacobs trying to do the unthinkable and running a gauntlet here tonight. Especially with Paragon and Gordson still waiting in the wings. It's hard to think it can happen. But it very well might as Derek Steele taking knee shots right to the side of the face by Derek Bryce gonna try to put him away slow to get up going up top could be time for a Bryce driver hold tight you in trouble only a two count the champion Bryce Jacobs pulling out his finishing maneuver to try to get the win. But Derek Steele taking out the knee. Has the champ down now. The machine not losing fight yet. He's still ticking. He's taking a lot of punishment by Jacobs. Elbow by Jacobs in the corner now off the ropes. Cross body center of the ring. Bowtie the referee watching closely now Jacobs. Again setting him up. What's he have in mind here? Night to remember. This could do it. Eat some canvas. The champion in control again. Derek Steele looks done. Oh, Bryce Jacobs ain't done. Oh, a big stop. And now Jacobs trying to hit the trifecta. Night to remember, then the big stomp. He could be going for it. He is Bryce Driver. Got him! One, two! Oh, I thought it was over. I thought that was it. I legit thought it was it. Jiggle is his jiggling back. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Uh oh. Head butt. Blocked by Derek Steele. The machine moving back in, trying to find a way to take the title. Off of Bryce Jacobs. Referee watching closely. Steele. He's tapping! The Steele prison from Derek Steele! And we got a new champion! We got a new champion! We got a new FAW champion, people! Wow! 
Apparently the D train's damage was enough. And we got a new champ. Well, at least for the time being. The winner of the match with submission. The machine. Derek Steele. He holds the FAW World Championship now. He is the new title holder, but his business is not done. Two more matches to go. Zerk's in the building. Good to see you, my brother. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. guys hit that thumbs up and sit back relax let the ai take you for a ride we're in time machine arena it's your boy blaze mccoy and me radio wreck <laughs> oh jeez So good to see everybody here. This is the main event. It is a gauntlet. We got two competitors left. D-Train was first. Derek Steele was second. The third competitor here, the Paragon of Greatness. And the FAW World title on the line again. The model of excellence. He's held the world title, the G6 title, two-time tag title, Blitzkrieg title. And the Combat Kingdom. Paragon needs the lethal title. And the Crazy Eight, Crazy Eight he'll have oh, all of them. I don't think anyone has all of them yet. He could be the first LTV belt collector. Well, there's several others that are damn close. We'll see. Here we go. Title on the line again. Third match of the four-match gauntlet here in Time Machine Arena. Paragon now trying to dethrone the new FAW champion, Derek Steele. Right off the bat, the big man Paragon goes for the headbutt. Taken down now. Paragon finds himself in a precarious position early in the fight. Now Derek Steele, Paragon, sizing each other up still here. Main event, FAW World title going down. A four-match gauntlet. We've already seen uh, one title defense and then a, a new champion. Derek Steele now holding the FAW World Championship along with his G6 title. And he's trying to take down Paragon. Well, Paragon, former G6 champ, would love to get a victory over Derek and take that title off him as the Forge took the championships from the Opaque Brotherhood and the Opaque Brotherhood making it all the way to the finals of the qualifiers. But losing to Ruthless Incorporated, they will not get a shot now at those G6 titles. They'll have to wait. But Paragon, hell-bent on trying to win this, and it'll be Gord Sin in the final match for the winner of this. Your FAW champion is going to be Gord Sin, Paragon, or Derek Steele. We're about to find out who will have that championship and then have to defend it a few times to try to trade it in for an LTD world title shot. Paragon now working on the machine. Sword of Damocles. And a cover. Trying to put him out, but only a two count. A kick out by Derek Steele. FAW world championship. On the line here in Paragon, not giving up, not giving in. Trying to finish this early because Derek Steele coming off a match and the brush with greatness. What a neck breaker. Butterfly, back breaker, neck breaker. One, two, kick out. Paragon 
going to the well, thinking he had it one right then and there. Paragon, Derek Steele colliding in the ring. This is your main event for the FAW Championship. Triple Double Trouble, folks, still to come this week. Three more shows tomorrow night. LIT vs. LTD event continues. Thursday, the Golden Pyramid Cup continues. And Friday, Freaky Friday, if you will, it's the Stable Wars. Tossing it like a sack of potatoes. And now the machine, Derek Steele, will the forge in trouble, but he's fighting back. The machines, cogs and gears still turning, trying to take out the Paragon. POG's one of the toughest in the business, though. Back body drop over and out. That'll bide the POG some time. Oh, he's not wasting any time, going right after Derek Steele. Paragon on the offensive now as they're fighting up the damn ramp. Toss him like a sack of potatoes. These two, like I said, have already fought before in Paragon with ill will towards the Forge because they took those coveted six-man title belts off the Opeg Brotherhood who held them for five months. Busted open. Derek Steele's bleeding, but he comes firing back with a retaliation. Spinning forearm smash, and now seems to have amped up the machine even more. The damn cyborg, like CE. Uh-oh. Reversal by Paragon working on the arm of Derek Steele. No count out. They can fight out there. Elliot Boy bitch slapped him. He's trying to humiliate Derek Steele and take the title from him. Oh, stomp to the fingers of Derek Steele and Paragon. High above a press slam. Or is he just going to drop him? No! Uppercut! Body blow! Body blow! Perfect the battle kick! Uh-oh. Paragon's not done yet. Suplex. Reversal by Derek Steele. Spinning forearm uppercut again now. And he's going to try to send it back in the ring. No! Derek busted open. He's going to try to do the same thing to Paragon. Face first to the steps, but no blood. What a fight. Derek, face first. He's trying to bust him open to even the score is what Derek Steele's trying to do. He can't get too concentrated on that and forget about the title that he now holds. Just got his first singles title here on the Blaze Radio Network, be it the FAW title. It's a world championship in any event now. Steele and Paragon back in the ring finally. Right hands by Derek. Kick to the gut. What's he have in mind here? Oh! Oh no. Is he going for the steel prison again? No, he's got the arm locked up. Now oh, he's trying to break his fingers, break his wrists, break his arms. Oh, wrenching back. No, trouble. Paragon should make his own uh, kind of wine. Send back now, Derek Steele, Paragon, slow to get up, Derek Steele, the machine, rev it up, ah, oh, just kicks him in the face. Does Paragon have anything left, or can Derek Steele stay the champion? Gordson, the winner of Jackpot Madness, number one contender, to the FAW title waits as the final competitor here in the gauntlet. Well, he'll he's getting the benefit of taking on one of these two. Derek Steele being his second match. Paragon. It'll be his second match if he wins. Or oh, there it is! Fault in the code. That fireman's carry cutter has Paragon down and out. And oh no! Almost. Almost retained the title. Derek Steele. Arm drag take down by Paragon. And now fist by Derek Steele. We got a friggin' tennis match on the line here now. Back and forth. Migma neck hurt. Paragon showing his power late in this matchup. Adding insult to injury. Punching the open wound on the forehead. 
of Derek Steele. Back to the outside. Steele's not done punishing Paragon. Derek Steele had a nice opening there to try to finish the job, but he took him to the outside as well instead, I should say. And dropped him on his head at ringside. He's trying to punish Paragon to the next level. Combination of strikes by Derek Steele. The Forge are your G6 Gladiator six-man tag champs. Derek Steele trying to hold on. It would be three title defenses if Derek Steele ends up with the title here tonight, which might be good enough to get him an LTD World title shot. He's still going to get through the Paragon and Gordson. Paragon not done yet, not even close. Snapmare takedown by POG. Leg scissors trying to squeeze the shit out of him. Oh, no. If he really squeezes the shit, it might smell. <laughs> What's the matter, Rex? I'm tired. Did you drink that? Oh, jeez. Did you drink anything that's laying around, Rex? Yeah. That was NyQuil. Oh, I'm going to sleep good. Brush with greatness. Got him. I'm tired. Good. Cover by Paragon. Will we have a new champion again? No, kick out at two. Derek Steele, the current world champion, holding on tight as Paragon's looking to put it away here, folks. Another brush with greatness being set up. Can he execute it? He does with perfection. The model of excellence. The last of the olden gods. One. Oh, and he's the new FAW champion. A second title change in a row. That's crazy. It's crazy, people. Wow. What a fight for the second time in a row. We have the winner of the match and new FAW World Champion, the Paragon of Greatness. Wow, there's Paragon in the chat quick to congratulate the effort of the fallen champion, Derek Steele. And indeed, a hell of a fight. But now we're sending out Gordson to finish the gauntlet. Let's play his music just in case we don't get to hear it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the best music ever. Shut up, Rex. Pass out already. I'm trying. I can't stay away. You drank a bottle of Nyquil, you jerk. It was delicious. Great. Like Paragon. <laughs> Shut up, Rex. Oh, whistle while you work, people. Here you go. Here it is. Gordson winning Jackpot Madness. Cashing in. Main event. Final match. Here we go. your corny ass song too. <laughs> Main event FAW world title Paragon and Gord. Two of the most gracious fighters that I've ever had here on the show to be honest with you so whoever wins congratulations. Good luck to both. I'm getting drunk. Now that Rex has passed out cold. Ooh! Ow! You fell into the coffee table that time, Rex. Way to go. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, now, let's go! 
<coughs> I saved that special hobo shift he gave me to the end here until Rex passed out, and I just <coughs> took a big chunk of it. Oh, boy. Gordon and Paragon colliding in our main event FAW final match of the gauntlet. Who's going to walk out with the title? A shot caller. Oh, man. Shot caller. Big baller. Oh, shock caller. <laughs> I can't laugh like Rex's stupid laugh. Oh boy. It goes like this. <laughs> Ow. Shut up, Rex. Elbow by Paragon. Oh, and a kick out by Gord. Gordson not uh, flashing Nessie as much as he normally does. Thank goodness. Well, he said if he won Jackpot Madness and beat his partner, Bastage, yes, those two were in the finals at a 52. On the top of their games, those two are right now. Credit where credit's due. Gord said if he won, he'd wear a suit. So he's got some lady slacks air. He's got a leather jacket he must have found or gotten off the bastage, and he called it a suit. It's better than uh, the skirt. I'm happy with it. I ain't complaining. Gordson has Paragon down. Gord trying to make it three title changes in a row. This gauntlet has been crazy. Vernon Quinn says anybody but Gord for the win. Paragon, big takedown on Gordson. POG celebrating the fans here in Time Machine Arena, loving it. What a show we've had. If you're showing up later, you missed it. Hit the thumbs up, watch the replay, leave me a comment. Say hello to the top turn, Buckle. Oh, celebrate because Rex is hurt and he's getting drug out of here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Celebrate Rex's injury, come on. Maybe he'll never wrestle again. Hey, we all wrestle again. Oh, jeez. Get him out of here, guys. And EW says anybody but Gord. Everyone wants Gord to lose. Yalla! In the building with his eyeballs. Derek Steele now has, well, in the record book somewhere. Now, he's now the former FAW world champion. Paragon trying to take this championship one step further. Nobody has been able to defend the title except for the first match where Bryce Jacobs beat the D-Train. We've passed the title to Derek Steele and the Paragon. Can Gordson take it off of Paragon or will POG have the World Championship here in Fantasy Action Wrestling? Well, he has it now. Will he still have it? Fighting at ringside, Gordson's going to send him back in. We had a crazy show. We debuted the Blackout Arena for that show coming soon. You know, later on tonight, Series 2, batch number 1, cards number 31 through 40 will be released. So check social media for that. We know Rex said shut up Blaze not once but twice today. So he'll have a punishment coming towards him. Raven cashed in her uh, briefcase successfully. Our new Battle Queen and Ripper still holding on to his briefcase against Mr. Utaker in the Blitzkrieg division. Peace off Cutter and Gordo almost stole the title with the quickness. Main event going down, folks. I want to thank you all for showing up. Pop it in, whether it's one second, one minute, one hour, the whole damn show. You know I appreciate it. Just seeing your names in the chat once is all I need. The more the better. But just to know you're around, to know you people still showing up, hanging out, having some fun. Kicking it with your boy, Blaze McCoy. Yeah, get a little mushy because Rex is gone. He can't make fun of me. Oh, you guys ain't allowed to laugh. <laughs> I mean it, though. Paragon up again. I know Paragon and Gordson, two of the coolest dudes I've met on here. They joke around, they have fun with their characters, but both of them were very gracious no matter who the new FAW champion is. Granted, I'd rather have two guys at each other's throats, but these are two of the best in a business. Don't get it twisted. Para Conrana! That horrible Conrana. And now Paragon going right for the brush with greatness and got him! Gordson with the first of four title. Cash ins. Trying to be the new FAW champion. And a kick out after two. Kick out after two. Just in time. Ouch. Tonky. Funky monkey, brass monkey. Tonky monkey. All oh, that funky monkey. Brass monkey. Sit brass monkey. Oh, I can go. I don't know. Never mind. Stop it away. Huh? Is Gordson. And Gordo catching an elbow from Paragano. And takes him to the outside. Oh, 
He's in trouble, though. POG goes right after him, doesn't waste a second. Up again now, no disqualification, no count out. FAW World Championship about to go down, and a POG has him up in the air. Gordo's in trouble. Uppercut! Oh, man, holy piss in a bottle, folks. This is a great fight. What a way to finish an insane show. Well, we started out with, thank God he's gone. Yeah, Rex actually won a match to start the show. Oh, we got to watch. That's what brought him right back, unfortunately. Damn you, S.A. You should pick, like, five different people to fight him. Well, I wouldn't have let that happen, but anyway. They can't in the game. Anyway. Paragon now has the champion. Oh, he's the champion. Has the challenger down. Fans on their feet going bonkers, going ballistic, going absolutely ape shit. Trying to rip the head, trying to separate the head from the body. That would end the match, that's for sure. Paragon setting up to defend his championship. He just won the title and he doesn't look like he wants to let it go anywhere. Oh, there's Nessie! Whoa! He got a hole in the bottom of his pants so we can see Nessie. No fair. But the rush with greatness is going to end it. No! Kick out by Gordo! POG can't believe it. Arguing with Bo Tai, who said it was two. I think that's what he had two ones out equal to. Sweep the leg, Gordy! Now Gord Sin trying to fight back. Looking for his first championship since the crazy eight title piece off cutter cover we have a new champ again no kick out by paragon of greatness that do 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 that da 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 that's all i want to say do you sounds like judgment talking that do 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 that da 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 uh-oh Trying to rip his head off. I'm not singing that other doo-doo song, you Jake Bagwell. You can take that doo-doo somewhere else. <laughs> Bowtie separates the two, but Gordon tripping up Paragon. FAW World Championship on the line here, folks. Time Machine Arena, your boy Blaze McCoy and Andy Radio Rex. What? What are you doing back here? I'm okay. I just hurt a little bit. <laughs> Don't whine like a baby if you're going to come back. They let me back in. It hurts. Ugh. Gord Sand with a shoulder tackle on Paragon. I just want to see the end of the match. Shut up, Rex. Left hand strike by Paragon. Sit down. Watch out for the glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I will. I'm so tired. You drank NyQuil and passed out into a glass table, you moron. Gord Sand up top. Oh. Sit on the floor. Holy flippy shit. Wow. The numpty soul. Oh, look like a triple Lindy. And he's done it. He's done it. We got to hear the corny ass music again. Because for the third match in a row, we got a new champion. Oh, the women's white slacks are good luck for Gord. Gordson. So Derek Steele was the FAW world champ. Paragon was the FAW world champ. And now, holy piss in a bottle is right. Well, 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 what do you know? I know he's upset that he won, but here it was. Peace off, Cutter, connecting on Paragon. Unfriggin' believable. The winner of the match. And as I stated before, for the third time in a row in this gauntlet finale, the new FAW World Champion, Gordon. Gordon with the win. Unbelievable. What a show. And this corny ass music ends perfectly. Well, that's it, folks. As a reminder, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, it'll be G6 tag matches. Travis T, Ricky Edge, and Coach Carver versus Bone Dogs or Dragon and Mondo.
The Advocate, The Comrade, and Brink versus Shulky, Aiden Nightwalker, and Cowboy John. Austin Black, Jack Willow, Brian LG versus Sean Shamrock, Mark Caliber, and the Dark Wolf. Max Blaylock, James Creed, and CJ Sensation versus Shifty, Jack Bayou, and Shadow Press. Chef Stompy, C.E., and Andy Price versus L.A. Hobo Ezekiel and the Razor. And then Max Blaylock will put his title on the line, the Invitational Championship, against any Invitational winners that won. Golden Pyramid Cup Tag Team Gauntlet. Well, if it goes anywhere in like tonight's Gauntlet, it's going to be fun next thir on Thursday. Tag Team Gauntlet on Thursday and Friday. Chamber matches in the stable war. I want to thank each every one of you guys and gals, everybody in the chat for hanging out with your boy Blaze McCoy. Signing off for now from Time Machine Arena. What about me? Shut up, Rex. I'm tired. Go to sleep. Get out of here, Rex. Peace and positive vibes to each and every one of you guys and gals and your friends and family. Stay tuned to social media because we will be releasing... The LTD Collector Card Series 2, Batch 1, tonight, 10 cards will be released. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, and have a great night. We'll be back tomorrow night with more action right here on the Blaze Radio Network here on YouTube. I'm out of here. See ya.